Chapter 1101 Doping Translator Born to be Victory for Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen Victory for Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen Victory for Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen Long Chen saw millions of disciples standing around the life and death stage. They immediately erupted into loud cheering that was like the sound of a raging tsunami, with each wave louder than the last. He, see, I'm pretty popular. Long Chen smiled toward Men Qi as he looked at these cheering disciples who were shouting so loud that their faces turned red. 99% of these millions of disciples were from the outer sect. Most of the inner sect disciples were in the Zhuanshan Tower comprehending the Zhuanshan Catalog. Furthermore, Long Chen's fame was the greatest in the outer sect. He was a godlike existence who had looked after them. These outer sect disciples cheered the loudest. Some people broke their throats just to make their voices louder. Shut up. It is forbidden to make a ruckus in front of the life and death stage. Suddenly, a cold shout rang out, shaking all their eardrums and making their heads feel like they would split. The cheering of the disciples was silenced as if severed by a blade. A group of people walked over grandly. They were the previous generation's experts, with the person at the front being Gao Xianyang. Behind him were dozens of experts. The person who had told the outer sect disciples to shut up was one of them. The majority of the outer sect disciples were only at sea expansion, while this person was a rank 6 celestial. His powerful pressure almost injured all of them. Idiot, who are you to tell us to shut up? Is this your home? Don't bully others to show off. Just at this moment, a man jumped out of the crowd to curse at him. This person was precisely Guo Ran. Guo Ran had only just come out of the Zhuanshan catalog when he heard that Long Chen was about to fight a life and death battle against someone. If he didn't come, he wouldn't be Guo Ran. If I want to talk here, if I want to curse people here, what can you do? Bite me, said Guo Ran disdainfully. Guo Ran, you aren't cursing a person, but a dog. A dog who can walk on its hind legs, corrected Long Chen. He, boss is right, laughed Guo Ran, acting like he accepted his mistake. Everyone was deathly silent now. At first, these outer sect disciples had just come to cheer for Long Chen. But now they realized that what was going on was that Long Chen was going against the previous generation's top expert, Gao Xianyang. Long Chen was already the strongest expert of the new generation. Now that he had advanced to foundation forging, was he planning on immediately going against the previous generation's Gao Xianyang? Gao Xianyang's expression sank and a hint of killing intent appeared in his eyes. He said, fighting with words only shows how childish you are, with death at your door. You still dare to spout such wild words? What foolishness. We came over to admire the marvelous scene of your death. In other words, you came here to watch the fun? So then, what right do you have to tell others to be quiet? You came here to spout your shit. So why can't others speak? Do you think you're the Zuan master? HMPH. I don't mind people being posers, but I won't allow anyone to be more of a poser than me. Cursed Guo Ran. Brothers, what is our slogan? Other than the Dragon Blood Legion. Posers need to be beaten. Although only a few hundred members of the Dragonblood Legion had come, they still cheered Guo Ran on. Did you hear? In the future, if you want to be a poser, you have to come and ask the permission of the Dragonblood Legion. You need to get your posing credentials first before you get to pose. Understand idiot, demanded Guo Ran. You're all courting death, roared Gao Xianyang. The entire land shook because of his voice. He seemed just like a provoked lion. With Gao Xianyang's status, he should disdain quibbling with Guo Ran. But Guo Ran's ability to infuriate others had reached the realm of being able to infuriate him with just a few words thanks to Long Chen's teachings. With a piece of shit like you right here, why would I need to find more? Guo Ran shrugged indifferently. Gao Xianyang's eyes were about to spit flames. If it wasn't against the rules to attack people here, he'd have long since crushed Guo Ran. Suddenly, a huge barrier appeared around the life and death stage. It was like a square case, covering the stage completely. The runes on the stage lit up, and in front of everyone's stunned eyes, the bricks on the stage disappeared, replaced by huge blocks of rock. These rocks all had a huge rune on the surface, and the runes all linked together, forming an incredibly firm and seamless body over the stage. It's the martial stage for kings. The senior disciples involuntarily let out startled cries. The heavy aura that now came from the martial stage made it hard for them to breathe. This was the stage used only for kings. Long Chen, we've come to cheer for you. At this moment, Sumo and Mu Kingsuan led another group of people over. Has this insignificant matter troubled both of you? Senior Apprentice Brother Sumo and Senior Apprentice Brother Kingsuan? 
for you to have to personally come over makes me embarrassed, laughed Long Chen. This is an insignificant matter? I don't know what to say to you. Luo Qingfang is powerful, so don't be careless, warned Mu Qingxuan. I trust Long Chen. There definitely won't be any problems. Compared to Mu Qingxuan, Sumo had much more trust in Long Chen. He patted Long Chen on the shoulder and said, If you have the chance, give them a fierce blow. They've been irritatingly arrogant these past few years. I can't beat Gao Xianyang, and the others don't dare to fight me, so I've never had the chance. Work hard, Long Chen. No problem. Long Chen smiled slightly. It's almost time. Where is Luo Qingfang? Sumo frowned. According to reason, he should have come earlier. However, no matter where Luo Qingfang was, as long as the martial stage was activated, if he was within the range of the Zhuanchen Dao sect, he would be automatically transported over. The martial stage is about to be activated. Make your preparations and don't be careless. We'll pray for your victory, said Mu Qingxuan upon seeing that the martial stage's barrier was growing brighter and brighter. He, have faith, senior apprentice sister Qingxuan, laughed Long Chen. Suddenly, his badge lit up and he was transported onto the martial stage. At the same time as he landed on the martial stage, a figure appeared in front of him. Luo Qingfang had also arrived. Cheering once more erupted. Guo Ran's loud voice rang out over the crowd. Victory for boss. The dragon blood legion echoed his cheering, and then the outer sect disciples also followed. Their loud voices rang out in waves once more. Gao Xianyang and the others' expressions sank. They didn't dare to tell them all to shut up again. But hearing the disciples cheering for Long Chen irritated them. Men Qi walked over to stand with Mu Qingxuan. Seeing this many people passionately cheering for that figure on the martial stage. She was filled with pride. Luo Qingfang's face had already healed. He had returned to his brick-faced appearance. And his teeth had grown out again. Not only that. But the energy fluctuations coming off his body also caused the space around him to tremble. Oh. You're doping. Long Chen looked at Luo Qingfang with a bit of surprise. Although the people on the martial stage couldn't hear the outside world's voices, the sounds inside were clearly transmitted to the people outside. Doping. All the disciples were startled, not quite understanding the situation. This is, yes, it should be the Black Tiger Yang explosion pill. So, you felt so weak that you decided to take medicine in advance. Long Chen looked over Luo Qingfang for a moment and easily recognized what medicinal pill he had consumed. That was a pill that would allow Luo Qingfang to unleash explosive power for a short period of time. What? How can he be so shameless? People began to roar furiously over this despicable act. Shut up. What do you know? Long Chen is just trying to slander others, roared one of the disciples beside Gao Xianyang. Fuck you. Our boss disdains slandering others. Do you think we're as despicable as you? The Dragonblood Legion was infuriated and cursed back. They looked like they might start killing if that person retorted. Exactly. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is an open and candid person. While you petty people are all capable of such a thing, they think that since they're so despicable, others are as well. How laughable. In any case, we'll believe senior apprentice brother Long Chen. What he says is the truth. That fellow definitely doped. That person's attempt to quiet them ended up provoking more fury. Everyone's spears pointed toward him. That person only had one mouth and he was facing the roaring of millions of people. The veins on his forehead bulged, but he didn't say anything. Long Chen's words caused Luo Qingfang to feel a burst of guilt. He truly had taken medicine. Originally, he hadn't wanted to, because he was confident in being able to kill Long Chen. But the higher-ups had ordered him to take it and kill Long Chen within three moves. It was best if he could take Long Chen's life in just one move without giving him any chance to retaliate. So he had had no choice but to dope. Now that he had been exposed by Long Chen, he was embarrassed and enraged. His aura rose and six colored runes appeared around him. The martial stage's barrier began to shudder from his aura. Long Chen, today you'll definitely die. Even once I kill you, I won't be able to obtain any glory. But let me say it again. Once you die, I'll help you look after your woman. Luo Qingfang smiled sinisterly and shot forward. His six colored runes formed a pair of huge wings, and he was like a meteor. At the same time, he unleashed a punch. His fist had runes circulating over it, and people were horrified to see that wherever that fist went, cracks would appear in space. This was an extremely terrifying attack. Luo Qingfang had instantly unleashed all his power to kill Long Chen in one blow. In the face of such a terrifying fist, Long Chen unhurriedly raised his own hand. 
his 108,000 acupuncture points shook slightly, and majestic energy erupted like a volcano. Death sounds like shit. Chapter 1102 Killed in One Attack Translator Born to be what shocked everyone was that Long Chen didn't try to dodge that terrifying punch. He simply raised a single hand, truly courting death. One of the experts behind Gao Ziaoyang sneered. He could already see the scene of Long Chen exploding on contact. Even Mu Qingxuan and Su Mo were shocked. Just what was Long Chen thinking? This attack was so powerful that even Su Mo would have to use his full power to meet it. Boom. An explosive sound erupted. People could clearly see huge spatial fluctuations originating from where their fist and palm connected. There were countless spatial cracks caused by those fluctuations. When the fluctuations faded, everyone was stunned to see Long Chen still standing in his original position. He hadn't moved at all. One of his hands was behind his back, and he was like an immovable mountain. Luo Qingfang's terrifying attack was only able to cause Long Chen's hair to blow back slightly. This scene made everyone suck in a cold gasp. Gao Xianyang's expression changed. In fact, the expressions of everyone, including the elders and hall masters, changed. Just what kind of power is this? The elder hall's elders were staring in shock. They were unable to tell where Long Chen's power was coming from. Everyone could see that Long Chen hadn't activated any magical art or battle skill. He had relied purely on the power of his physical body to easily receive this terrifying attack. Luo Qingfang was also shocked. It had to be known that this attack was one powered by the medicinal pill he had previously consumed. It was twice as strong as it normally would be, and it was so powerful it would be enough to easily kill any other experts in the same realm as him. However, this attack was ineffective against Long Chen. Furthermore, Long Chen's hand was tightly clenching his fist. He tried a couple of times but was actually unable to pull it away. Everyone was deathly silent now. Even Guo Ran and the Dragonblood Legion were dumbfounded. Although they had practically blind trust and worship in Long Chen, and he was undefeatable in their minds, they still hadn't expected Long Chen to receive such a powerful attack so easily. This is all your power? Are you trying to make me laugh? Long Chen shook his head. Bastard, don't be so pleased. Bloodline Spirit Activation Luo Qingfang roared and his blood key erupted. A blood-colored figure appeared behind him. When it appeared, the martial stage quivered. He activated his spirit blood already. Has he really been forced to this point? All the foundation forging experts were stunned. All of them knew that activating one's spirit blood could increase one's power, but it came at a price. Fully activating one's spirit blood might increase their power immensely, but after the battle, they would enter a state of weakness. No one was willing to do such a thing unless they were forced to. Furthermore, Luo Qingfang hadn't just activated his spirit blood. He was using all his power. That meant he had been forced to the point of despair. This discovery shocked everyone. Just an ordinary exchange had caused Luo Qingfang to unleash all his trump cards. Perhaps the battle was more complicated than what appeared on the outside. Scram. Luo Qingfang shouted and a fierce energy smashed into Long Chen's extended hand. Boom. Long Chen's long hair blew back, but his body didn't even take half a step back. His hand was still tightly clenching Luo Qingfang's fist, and he didn't even blink an eye. Impossible. Bastard. Die. A trace of terror finally appeared in Luo Qingfang's eyes. He found that no matter what he tried, he was unable to rattle Long Chen in the slightest. A bad feeling rose in his heart. Suddenly, light appeared on his leg and he sent a kick at Long Chen's abdomen. Luo Qingfang was finally afraid. The people outside might not be able to tell, but he had already used up all his power. That made him think of a very bad consequence. Long Chen shook his head once more. Since you've used up all your skills, goodbye. Just as Luo Qingfang's kick was about to reach him, Long Chen increased the power in his hand. He raised Luo Qingfang into the air and then smashed him into the ground. Bang. Blood mist filled the martial stage. Luo Qingfang was killed just like that. The ground was too hard. Its hardness was such that even kings would be unable to damage it. And so Luo Qingfang was blown apart. Half an arm was tossed to the ground by Long Chen. That was the only thing to testify that Luo Qingfang had ever existed in this world. The sound of that arm landing on the martial stage wasn't loud, and yet it was like a hammer smashing into the weakest parts of people's hearts. Everyone was silent. Even the Elder Hall and Law Enforcement Hall's elders were silent. The Hall Masters, Pavilion Masters, Palace Masters, everyone was silent. One shot instant kill, and the easiest possible one shot instant kill. It was like a frog had provoked someone, been caught and then smashed onto the ground. 
Long Chen was also surprised as he tossed aside the arm. It seemed he had underestimated the power of his 108,000 original runes. Not only was Luo Qingfang's body destroyed, but Long Chen could also sense that in that instant, even his soul had been sealed in his body, destroyed along with his body. The secrets behind the nine-star hegemon body art are truly immense. What I know is probably just the tip of the iceberg, sighed Long Chen inside. However, the stronger it was, the more worried he became. He felt like he was in a huge whirlpool, helplessly struggling. When Luo Qingfang was killed, a new heavenly Dao fruit appeared on the tree in Long Chen's primal chaos space. It was a rank 6 heavenly Dao fruit. After advancing to foundation forging, not only had the primal chaos space once more expanded to 300,000 miles, but even the heavenly Dao tree had grown. The heavenly Dao tree was at the core of the primal chaos space, which was the center of the black soil. It was now 3,000 meters tall with many branches. However, Long Chen wasn't able to sense any life from it, nor was he able to extract energy from it to heal. Long Chen still knew very little about it. Long Chen was transported off the martial stage, rousing him from his thoughts. He decided not to think too much about it. He would have to take things step by step. Boss, you really are unrevealed. Guo Ran ran over, excitedly shouting. He found that Long Chen was becoming more and more monstrous. Congratulations. Sumo and Mu Kingsuin also came over, but their expressions were a bit unnatural. They still hadn't recovered from their shock. Long Chen was a monster, an unfathomable monster with limitless potential. Sumo and Mu Kingsuin had personally witnessed his growth. It had only just been over half a year, but he was already so terrifying. At this time, Long Chen just happened to see an icy face. He called out to the departing Gao Xianyang. I don't like killing people, so don't make me kill more. A single victory doesn't mean you'll win every time. Luck won't be on your side forever. Next time, the person to die might be you, replied Gao Xianyang icily. Originally, the plan had been so perfect. They had finally had a chance to eliminate Long Chen. However, they hadn't expected such a huge mishap to occur. Long Chen's combat power was actually so terrifying. Even Gao Xianyang felt immense pressure. He sensed a large threat from Long Chen that made him very uneasy. I'm just warning you. After all, life is sacred, so I have to at least give you a warning. But if you really don't mind leaving this world, I won't mind sending you to a different one. If you want a free ticket for crossing the river of reincarnation, do your best to insult me and my people said Long Chen indifferently. His words caused Gao Xianyang's heart to shake. Long Chen's meaning was very clear. If anyone wanted to pick a quarrel with him, insulting Menki like Luo Qingfang, he wouldn't hesitate to initiate a life and death challenge. This was a warning, as well as a promise. He was clearly telling everyone, if you want to die, come. Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. Menki accompanied him, and then red-faced, gave him a kiss. It could count as fulfilling her previous promise. But when Long Chen became too engrossed in his feelings, and his hands began to grow disobedient, Men Qi stopped him. The most awkward thing was that it was at this moment that King Yu arrived. Oh, Sister King Yu, how coincidental. Long Chen laughed, breaking the awkward atmosphere. Men Qi didn't dare to raise her head. King Yu directly acted like she hadn't seen anything and said, Kian Duaduo says that many of the pills have sold out in the outer sect and the rest are about to run out. He suggests raising the price. After all, our pills are more effective and cheaper than the 10,000 pill halls. We can get more profit and avoid running out of stock so fast. Don't raise the price. That would affect our reputation. If we want long-term growth, reputation is very important. Tell him that I have a few days now to refine more pills. The sold-out pills will quickly be restocked, said Long Chen. King Yu nodded and left. After she was gone, Men Qi viciously pinched Long Chen. It was all his fault that she had been embarrassed. Long Chen tried to continue where they left off but no matter what he said, Men Qi refused. She directly ran off into seclusion. And so Long Chen called out Huo Long to refine pills. Although they weren't lacking points now, if you started something, you should finish it. He couldn't just abandon the outer sect disciples after using them. Fortunately, Huo Long could refine pills on its own and could use eight pill furnaces at the same time. Just one day of alchemy was enough to keep them stocked for a month. Furthermore, the points they obtained basically had no manufacturing costs. It was purely profit. After one day of alchemy and refining all kinds of pills, he handed them to Kai and Duaduo. 
After giving him a few instructions, Long Chen went to the 10,000 Pill Hall. Chapter 1103 Beginning to Take Shake Translator Born to be this was Long Chen's third trip to the 10,000 Pill Hall. The one attending him was still that maiden. She was extremely polite, but she always maintained a certain distance from him. I came to buy some earth flames, said Long Chen. We have a total of seven earth flame seeds here. They are. She gave a quick introduction of their wares. Earth flame seeds referred to earth flames whose consciousnesses were erased, leaving behind only their core energy. Other people could control and raise them. Are there no earth flame beasts? Asked Long Chen. Although earth flame seeds were decent, they weren't what Long Chen needed. He wanted earth flame beasts that Huo Long could directly devour. That way its power would increase faster. If he used earth flame seeds, it would require a long time to raise them. And he didn't want to wait. We had some before, but now we don't. She said with a strange expression. What was that supposed to mean? Looking at her odd expression, he suddenly asked. It couldn't be that the Dao sect only had those two earth flame beasts. Long Chen's Huo Long had devoured four earth flame beasts, and they had all come from Xinian. Devouring those earth flame beasts had allowed Huo Long's power to skyrocket. Now that Long Chen had money, he wanted some more. Yes, normally, earth flame beasts aren't very useful, because not just anyone has the ability to subdue them. Those two earth flame beasts were imprisoned by the Zhuanshan Dao sect for a long time. For normal flame cultivators, earth flame seeds are better, she said. Long Chen thought about it and understood. Subduing an earth flame beast was very difficult, and the danger of a backlash was extremely high. Even if someone was willing to take the risk, they might not have the qualifications. On the other hand, earth flame seeds were most suitable for disciples. Although it took longer to raise one, it was safe, and controlling it would be easier. Then how many points do the earth flame seeds cost? Asked Long Chen. They cost more than the earth flame beasts and they cost more the greater their ranking. The cheapest one is 15 million points, while the most expensive one is 80 million points, she said. Long Chen swore, that was even more expensive than a king item. But then thinking about it, the wealth an alchemist could make after they subdued an earth flame far surpassed the investment. It could just barely count as reasonable. Which one do you want? She asked. All of them, said Long Chen. In any case, there was no way to bargain over the price so he couldn't be bothered to waste the time. For the moment, he had plenty of points, so he decided to just directly buy them all. Although those seeds weren't very useful, he could raise them like raising pigs. Once they were nice and fat, he could feed them to Huo Long. All right, then I'll. The maiden immediately ordered someone to go get them. Wait a moment. Suddenly, an elder walked in. That person was the same one who had tried to stop him from buying the iron spruce oaks. The elder from the alchemy pavilion whose head Long Chen had almost lopped off. The 10,000 pill hall was the alchemy pavilion's business, and so it was naturally run by them. They had the authority to modify what medicines or items they sold. Old thing, is your neck itchy? Long Chen glared at him. He had guessed this matter would once more cause some waves. How arrogant. You dare to be rude to an elder. He raged. Do you think threatening me will work? I dared to cut off your head once. So what would I not dare to do? The Zhuanshan Dao sect really has been too peaceful for idiots like you to appear. If you were on the battlefield, vermin like you wouldn't be able to survive even a single day. If you have something to say, say it. But if you give me some bullshit excuse like someone else reserved them, I won't mind slapping your face rotten. In front of that maiden's stunned gaze, Long Chen gently patted the elder's face. An icy killing intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes toward the end. One that made the elder immediately shiver. It was like a death god had suddenly appeared before him, and he was frozen in place. He felt like a blade of death was already pressed against his shoulder. If he moved, his head would immediately fly. So even though Long Chen touched his face, he didn't dare to move. This elder had relied on alchemy since childhood and had never gone on to the battlefield. As soon as Long Chen released his killing intent, he couldn't bear it. What? What do you think you're doing? I'm. I'm warning you. Don't do anything crazy. He cried his voice shuddering. It's not what I'm doing, but what you're doing, said Long Chen. The people working in the 10,000 pill hall were all dumbfounded. This was their first time seeing a disciple pat an elder on the face while speaking to one. There is a clear clause in the rules. Alchemy disciples can only possess one earth flame. After buying one, they can't buy more, whispered the elder nervously. He wished he could talk louder, but he wasn't able to. Senior apprentice brother, 
Don't make things hard on Elder Son. This truly is one of the rules. I'm sorry, but I just forgot about it. Wasting your time. Please don't make things hard on me, implored the maiden. Long Chen looked at her. Although she was being sincere, Long Chen's mouth curled. It was once more this routine. She clearly knew that he wouldn't do anything to her, and so she intentionally put the blame on herself. After being helped out, the elder would definitely form a good opinion of her, and her chance of being promoted would increase. However, she had won. Long Chen truly did recall that there seemed to be such a rule. Alchemy disciples could not possess two kinds of earth flames at once. To alchemists, an earth flame was like their life. This rule had been created to avoid wasting resources. Fine, forgive disciple for his rudeness. However, my temper isn't good. I get emotional easily, and when I get emotional, I get impulsive. When I get impulsive, well, you know what happens. It's normally accompanied by the deaths of a bunch of idiots in the Zhuanshan Dao sect it has happened several times. And although quite a few idiots are gone, I'm still standing tall. So I'd advise you to use your brain instead of carelessly being used as a scapegoat. Long Chen patted the elder on the shoulder before leaving. Once Long Chen left, the elder and disciples still didn't dare to make a sound for a long time. Finally, after his expression changed several times, the elder sighed and left. He was still terrified. Long Chen was right. The number of people that had targeted him was as high as the number of people that had died in the end. Even after all the trouble he had caused, Long Chen was still alive and well. Now he had learned his lesson. He told the 10,000 Pill Hall's disciples to keep this matter secret, and he directly returned to the Alchemy Pavilion to enter seclusion. He had another elder temporarily take charge of the 10,000 Pill Hall. Long Chen had gained nothing from his trip to the 10,000 Pill Hall, but when he returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain, he received a pleasant surprise. Brother Wenlong, you've come. Long Chen was delighted to see Zhen Wenlong. Kian Duoduo was currently talking to him. Haha, <laughs> congratulations on advancing to the Foundation Forging Realm. I even heard you're in a league of your own in the Zhuanshan Dao sect now. Zhen Wenlong laughed and cupped his fists toward Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> you're making fun of me, aren't you? You've already advanced to the second Havenstage of Foundation Forging. Don't you think this slap is a bit too resounding? Long Chen was surprised to see that Zhen Wenlong had advanced even faster than himself. Brother Long must be unaware, but once the Huaian sect disciples reach Foundation Forging, they will no longer have to rely on cultivating to advance. Our cultivation base will rapidly advance on its own, but our actual combat power will be very weak, said Zhen Wenlong. Why is that? Long Chen was stunned. Previously, I've mentioned that all the Huaian sect's disciples are the most devout followers of the Grand Wealth God. Once we reach the Foundation Forging Realm, our accumulated faith energy will allow us to undergo a transformation. After receiving the blessing of the Wealth God, our cultivation bases will easily advance with no bottlenecks, but our actual combat power will drop precipitously in comparison to others in the same realm, explains Hen Wenlong. The Wealth God? Faith energy. Long Chen's heart shook slightly. If there was such a thing as faith energy, then that meant the wealth god was still alive. But why was it said that there were no gods or immortals in this world anymore? He thought of that woman who looked like Len Yuian. The Zuan master had confirmed that she was a god, one that came from another world. With all that had happened, Long Chen found that he understood less and less about the world. I'm sorry, brother Long Chen, but since you aren't a follower of the wealth god, it isn't convenient for me to tell you too much about the wealth god. Apologized Zhen Wenlong upon seeing Long Chen sink into thought. Zhen Wenlong was a devout follower of the Wealth God. He was extremely dedicated to his belief, and no matter how good his relationship was with Long Chen, he couldn't expose some things. No, I just thought of some other things. I'm not unhappy at all. Long Chen smiled. The two of them chatted. Long Chen had Kai and Duoduo go get some simple refreshments. Drinking a few cups of tea, they had a long conversation. Last time, Zhen Wenlong hadn't even had time to sit before leaving. This time, Long Chen couldn't neglect his duty as the host. Zhen Wenlong was clearly more relaxed than last time. They finally had a chance to randomly talk, and Long Chen asked how his situation was over there. Zhen Wenlong bitterly smiled and said that he felt like he was about to die. He wished he could split himself into two people. But after this period of adapting, he had learned some tricks, as well as groomed some trusted aides to split the pressure. He was feeling much better. Long Chen couldn't help but feel that it was a bit funny. Their situations were actually a bit similar. When they first arrived in the central plains, everything was foreign.
but after some tempering, they slowly got used to it. Ah, speaking of which, do you have any new projects this time? Asked Long Chen. He knew that since Chen Wenlong was so busy, for him to personally come, he had to have something important to discuss. Yes, there are some new projects to discuss. But before that, I need to tell you that the secret matter you asked me to handle is already taking shape, whispered Chen Wenlong. Really Long Chen was delighted. Chapter 1104 Danger Zone Devil Spirit Mountain Translator Born to be Long Chen was filled with delight. This news was far too important to him. They have currently established a base within the Grand Xia ancient nation. They're around here, said Chen Wenlong as he gave Long Chen a map. The they that Chen Wenlong was referring to was Yu Xiaokian's race. Before departing the eastern wasteland, Long Chen had told Yu Xiaokian to stealthily establish a base in the central plains and then use the Huaian sect to send him a message. Now she had finally done so. A weight fell from Long Chen's shoulders. He just wondered if Yu Xiaokian had personally come to the central plains yet. Nevertheless, he couldn't leave the sect, but at least he could communicate with them through Chen Wenlong. Other than that, I've come to give you another batch of materials that should be enough for you, said Chen Wenlong. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. This efficiency was truly amazing. Chen Wenlong was very reliable, capable of handling everything perfectly. But it seems I don't have anything of value to give you this time. Long Chen found that he truly had nothing valuable he could give Chen Wenlong. At most, the money he had given Chen Wenlong in the beginning was only able to buy a tenth of the materials he had requested. All his money was points in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and that was useless outside the sect it wasn't as if he could repay Chen Wenlong in points. Don't worry, I'll give you the materials in advance. Right now, I have a big project I want to discuss with you, said Chen Wenlong. A big project? How big? Asked Long Chen. Very big. Listen closely. Chen Wenlong explained that his project revolved around a certain medicinal pill. It was an eighth tier pill. The forging heart spirit connecting pill. Just like the bone forging realm's bone tempering pills and the sea expansion realm's sea merging pills. This was a pill that had to be used in that realm. However, there were many variations of bone forging pills and sea merging pills. But the forging heart spirit connecting pill was the only main assistive cultivation pill used in the foundation forging realm. The foundation forging realm relied on absorbing heaven and earth's yuan spiritual energy. For foundation forging cultivators, the most precious thing was yuan spirit stones. However, the most primal and pure yuan spiritual energy in yuan spirit stones was not so easy to refine. Yuan spirit stones contained the essence of the laws when the world was first formed. It took a long time to refine that. Therefore, you needed to use a kind of medicinal pill to help you refine the Yuan spiritual energy. The Forging Heart Spirit Connecting Pill was the only pill of its kind. It helped cultivators refine Yuan spiritual energy, and it had no side effects. All the large sects used to have large stocks of this pill. Although its price was high, it was still within the realm that cultivators could afford. However, things had changed this year, a few months ago. The Forging Heart Spirit Connecting Pill had suddenly shot up in price. It was now 10 times more expensive. Just as many cultivators were puzzled by this, a piece of news spread throughout the cultivation world. Devil Spirit Mountain had suddenly become enshrouded in mist, and its entrance was now sealed. Anyone who tried to enter would die. When Long Chen asked what Devil Spirit Mountain was, Zhen Wenlong told him it was one of the Martial Heaven Continent's seven great danger zones. It was said it was the entrance to the Devil World but no devil life forms had ever come out of there. In fact, not only had no devil creatures ever been sighted there, but people had also seen a scene of an immortal wonderland. Many people had even heard immortal music, music that could increase their cultivation base just by listening to it. Some of them had even instantly broken through their bottlenecks. So Devil Spirit Mountain was an extremely strange place. If you lingered around its entrance, there wasn't any danger. But if you entered deeper, you would never return. It was unknown how many experts had tried to unlock the secrets of Devil Spirit Mountain only to never return. There were many legends about it. There were beautiful ones, and there were evil ones. No one could tell what the situation was exactly, but the number of experts that had disappeared in it were innumerable. Even kings would never return after entering. That was why it had been named one of the seven great danger zones. It was the same as the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. However, the surroundings of Devil Spirit Mountain were the habitat of an eighth tier medicinal ingredient, the spirit connecting grass. It was a very bizarre medicinal ingredient. On the surface, it looked like an ordinary grass, 
but its roots were like an octopus, and they freely wriggled and moved. If it was plucked, it would look like an octopus with a blade of grass growing out of it. When it encountered danger, it would even enter the ground to flee. This kind of spirit connecting grass existed elsewhere in the central plains, but it was very rare and not found in large numbers. It would only flourish in the surroundings of Devil Spirit Mountain. It could be planted artificially, but it often withered and died before it matured. Within the central plains, 90% of the spirit connecting grass came from Devil Spirit Mountain. This spirit connecting grass was the main ingredient for the forging heart spirit connecting pill. Not that long ago, mist had suddenly covered Devil Spirit Mountain and its surroundings, completely sealing it. All those adventurers who had been gathering spirit connecting grass around it had vanished. People had tried to approach the mist and investigate the situation, but they all mysteriously vanished. This mysterious, seemingly man-eating mist caused a huge disturbance. Of course, the price of the forging heart spirit connecting pill was impacted the most. Now its price had multiplied by 10 times and it was still crazily soaring. Long Chen, this is a crisis for the entire continent. Without the forging heart spirit connecting pill, all foundation forging disciples will find their cultivation bases stagnant. Furthermore, half a month ago, I received news that Pill Valley is starting to make a move. I heard they've developed a pill that can replace the foundation heart spirit connecting pill, said Shen Wenlong gravely. Long Chen instantly understood. Although the forging heart spirit connecting pill wasn't originally precious, the strange phenomenon that had occurred in Devil Spirit Mountain had cut off its supply. Now it was a pill everyone was fighting for. Even before, the supply hadn't quite met the demand. Now that the spirit connecting grass could no longer be easily gathered, the supply of the pills had dropped by 10 times. Panic was ensuing, and no one dared to sell forging heart spirit connecting pills any longer. Who knew when the mist surrounding the Devil Spirit Mountain would disappear? If it dissipated within 10 years, it wouldn't have too much of an effect on the Central Plains. But if it stayed for a century, or even a millennium, or longer, the Forging Heart Spirit Connecting Pill would only continue growing more valuable. The cultivation world was currently in a panic over the Forging Heart Spirit Connecting Pills. If Pill Valley could create another pill with the same effect, it would be a fatal blow to the Huai Insect. The Huai Insect was Pill Valley's sworn enemy. Pill Valley would definitely use this opportunity to force people who bought things from the Huai Insect to sever ties with them. If they didn't stop buying things from the Huai Insect, Pill Valley wouldn't sell them their pills. Knowing Pill Valley's methods, they definitely would take steps to avoid others figuring out the formula for their new pill. Then they would dominate the market. If they didn't cooperate with Pill Valley, Many experts would find themselves stuck in the foundation forging realm for a long time. Then even geniuses would eventually become trash. It had to be known that foundation forging was already a slow and important process. It was the realm where a person's cultivation base advanced the slowest. The previous generation's disciples were such a case. They had arrived in the Zhuanshan Dao sect 10 years ago. Even these geniuses amongst geniuses had only just reached the late foundation forging realm. That was enough proof of how difficult it was to advance in the foundation forging realm. If Pill Valley properly used their new weapon, they could seriously injure the Huai insect. There was even danger of this setback leading to a total collapse. In the end, the Huai insect could be completely devoured, which was why Shen Wenlong's expression was so grave. Brother Long, you have to help me. This relates to the life and death of my Huai insect. Shen Wenlong's voice contained a trace of begging. This was an incredibly important matter to the Huai Insect Novaloon.com A minor matter. I'll write up a formula for you. Long Chen smiled. This was truly a minor matter to him. Let alone one formula. He could easily give him ten formulas. Truly? Brother Long. You really are my lucky star. The blessing of the wealth god. Good. Brother Long. I'll drink with you today. No. I'll get completely drunk. Cried Zhen Wenlong ecstatically. Zhen Wenlong had absolute trust in Long Chen. If he said that it was no problem, then it was definitely no problem. He felt like a boulder had been lifted from his heart. In truth, Zhen Wenlong had been extremely worried on his way to see Long Chen. If even Long Chen was powerless, then he wouldn't have any solution at all. Although this kind of matter should have been handled by the higher-ups, he and all the other disciples of the Huai Insect were followers of the Wealth God. Each one of them felt the responsibility, and they treated the Huai Insect's matters as their matters. The fate of the Huai insect was their fate. After drinking three cups, Long Chen directly wrote out a pill formula so that Shen Wenlong could relax. And after thinking for a bit, he wrote another pill formula.
the first pill formula has around the same effect as the forging heart spirit connecting pill. As for the latter, it is over three times more effective. My guess is that Pill Valley will try to act in the long view, so they will bring out a medicinal pill just slightly worse than the forging heart spirit connecting pill. Due to its lower effect, people will need more, and they'll be dependent. It'll be the same as the trick the pill tower pulled on the eastern wastelands bone tempering pills and how they intentionally cut its effect in half. I'm giving you two formulas, so leave the latter as a weapon. If they counterattack, you'll still have a way to return the blow. Zhen Wenlong carefully put away the pill formulas and nodded. Good idea. Did you want the Huai insect to give you a direct price for these pill formulas? Or I'd rather take a cut of the future profits. That way it'll be a long-term collaboration. That's the way to make the most from my investment. Long Chen smiled. This time, your pill formulas aren't as simple as an investment. It has resolved an emergency situation for my Huai insect. It won't be easy to calculate this debt. That's fine. Don't businessmen have a phrase about how they aren't afraid of debt? If there comes a day when the debts between us are truly cleared up, it will probably mean our friendship has also ended, said Long Chen. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect brother Long Chen to speak such philosophical words. I'm amazed. Chortled Chen Wenlong. Come, the problem's resolved, and you aren't as busy as last time. Let's drink a bit more. I have a few things to discuss with you. The two of them drank until the next day. In the end. Zhen Wenlong was still worried, and he didn't dare to tarry too long, so he left. Chapter 1105 The Destination of the Rank 6 Heavenly Dao Fruit Translator Born to be with each passing day, more and more disciples came out of the Zhuanshan Tower, but some people were happy, and some people weren't. Not everyone was capable of entering the strange space within the Zhuanshan Tower. It required great talent and comprehension, as well as a certain fate. Not everyone was as monstrous as Long Chen and could easily enter to search for his own opportunity. Each person was only able to choose one target, and the chances of them being able to enter that strange space were less than 1%. Furthermore, even if they could enter that strange space, the chances of someone being capable of comprehending the profundities within were also less than 1%. However, just being able to enter the Zhuanshan catalog was a great opportunity. There would definitely be benefits in either case. It was just a question of how beneficial. After half a month, the majority of disciples had returned to their factions after entering the Zhuanshan catalog. Many people were shaken so greatly by a piece of news that they became dizzy. While they had been in the Zhuanshan catalog, Long Chen had initiated a life and death battle against a rank 6 celestial from the senior generation, Luo King Fang, and he had killed him in one blow. That made Hu Gishan and Fan Song whose confidence had just risen after having their strength greatly increase, completely dumbfounded. Even a rank 6 celestial from the senior generation had been killed in one blow. If they challenged Long Chen, they would truly be courting death. Ever since Long Chen had killed Luo Qingfang in one blow, the law enforcement hall had become much more obedient. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was much calmer now. Once Tang Wan or Gu Yang and the others came out of the Zhuanshan catalog, Long Chen clearly felt a change in them. Their auras hadn't changed. However, there was a sharp pressure in their eyes now, like a divine blade hidden within its sheath but still giving people a sensation of danger. That meant they had all obtained their own opportunities in the Zhuanshan catalog. Long Chen gathered all the Dragon Blood Legion's members and gave them each 1000 Yuan Spirit Stones. He had them slowly absorb the energy of the stones. That way, they could quickly reach the first heaven stage, and then they would be true foundation forging experts. The Zhuanshan Dao sect also had Yuan spiritual energy to exchange for. There were Yuan spirit stones, and there was also a kind of Yuan spirit bead. Yuan spirit stones were priced at a hundred thousand points for one. They could be described as super expensive existences. On the other hand, the Yuan spirit beads were much cheaper. Yuan spirit beads only cost twenty thousand points, and the amount of Yuan spiritual energy in just three of them was about equivalent to a single Yuan spirit stone. The greatest difference was that Yuan spirit stones were natural, while Yuan spirit beads were man-made. Yuan spirit beads were produced from the cores of devil beasts. Although they had gone through a great deal of purification, making the density of Yuan spiritual energy almost the same, Yuan spirit beads still contained some faint berserk energy. When absorbing energy from a Yuan spirit bead, you had to be more careful. While refining the Yuan energy, you had to expel the berserk energy, making the process slower. However, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. After all, 
Not everyone could easily refine Yuan spiritual energy without worrying about their bodies exploding. Refining a single Yuan spirit stone would normally take a person 3 days, but a Yuan spirit bead would take 15 to 20 days. Due to its cheap price, the majority of disciples chose to refine Yuan spirit beads. To them, they had plenty of time, but not a lot of money. But Long Chen didn't bother with that. He was in a race against time, and he didn't have that much time to waste. He directly distributed the Yuan Spirit Stones, and to make the effect even better, he had all of them go to the top grade training rooms. Points were there to be spent. Raising their power as fast as possible was the most important thing, so he couldn't begrudge spending points. After distributing the Yuan Spirit Stones and points, he told them not to be distressed over the points. They should quickly transform those points into power. After that, Long Chen took out a heavenly Dao fruit with six Dao runes on them. When celestials were killed, their heavenly Dao energy would scatter, but that scattered energy would be absorbed by the heavenly Dao tree in Long Chen's primal chaos space and condensed into heavenly Dao fruits. So whoever consumed this heavenly Dao fruit would become a terrifying rank 6 celestial. Two beauties, which one of you wants to be the sacrifice and eat this heavenly Dao fruit, becoming the second pillar of the dragon blood legion and sharing my burden? Joked Long Chen. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er knew he was saying this to avoid them being too embarrassed to take it. After all, there was only one rank 6 heavenly Dao fruit. In truth, this was the only heavenly Dao fruit Long Chen had for now. The rest had all been taken away by Shen Wenlong to be given to Yu Ziaokian's race. Those tens of thousands of heavenly Dao fruits no longer had any use to Long Chen. They would be wasted in his hands. So he sent them to the original devil race. The original devil race's disciples could also become celestials upon consuming them, and then they wouldn't need to worry about the heavenly deos. They could openly wander the continent. One or, you should take this heavenly deo fruit. I'm a soul cultivator, so it's not that useful, said Menki. No, you have to take it. Each time, you give the best to me, so I have to do the same for you at least once, said Tang Wan or. The two of them argued, with neither willing to take it. In the end, Tang Wan Er turned to Long Chen. Brat, what are you smiling about? You decide who this heavenly Dao fruit is going to, and if you decide wrong, HMPH, you understand. Don't even think about enjoying anything. What the fuck? When did I ever get to enjoy anything? Long Chen cursed inside, but looking at her menacing expression also made him smile. In truth, this heavenly Dao fruit can go to anyone and it wouldn't matter, because it would be useless either way. Whoever consumes it has to hold back their power to avoid exposing it. Although the Zuan master promised me that no one would dare pry into my secrets within the Zuanshan Dao sect and I trust he has that ability. I don't like putting my fate in other people's hands. So for now, we aren't going to show anyone that one of us has become a rank 6 celestial in order to avoid other people seeing some clues, said Long Chen. Last time, the fact that everyone had advanced to the 4th rank while Tang Wan'er and the others had advanced to the fifth rank, had already caused a huge uproar. The Zuan master had said that it was due to his own experiments, which had managed to suppress that uproar. But Long Chen was sure he was already being closely watched by some people. Although Long Chen wasn't afraid, he still understood what it meant to not expose himself. He should keep his cards to himself, or it would be too dangerous otherwise. Therefore, the best option is you, Men Qi, as a soul cultivator. If you don't use your full power, no one will sense anything. Furthermore, you're also a beast tamer. You can just summon your housepits to fight for you while you assist, which will make it even less likely for you to be exposed, said Long Chen. Men Qi finally nodded and took the heavenly Dao fruit. Once she became a rank 6 celestial, once she used the cry of the heavenly Daos, her soul energy would be even more terrifying. Long Chen urged Men Qi to quickly refine the heavenly Dao fruit, because right now, Men Qi had no suitable houseboats. Previously, Long Chen had thought about buying her a few eggs, but then when he thought about it, incubating and raising them would take too long. It was better to catch some themselves. Men Qi quickly refined the heavenly Dao fruit, and Tang Wan Er spent each day training in top grade wind attribute training rooms. She quickly refined Yuan spirit stones to reach the first heaven stage. The first heaven stage required condensing nine original runes and compressing them into a stable platform. Right now, they were all at just one original rune. Just that one rune had taken them close to half a month to fully condense, and so it could be seen how slow the foundation forging realm was. But with Yuan spirit stones and top grade training rooms, 
Tang Wan'er's cultivation speed was dozens of times faster than others. For the first Heaven stage, no medicinal energy could be used. So practically all the inner sect disciples were secluded in training rooms. It was almost impossible to see a single one of them outside now. Long Chen gave the task of selling the pills in the outer sect to Wang Mang and the others. Even Kai and Duaduo went into seclusion. The only exception was Guo Ran. He had condensed a rare forging divine rune. Therefore, he needed to cultivate while forging. And he had long since started forging day and night. The materials Shen Wenlong had brought were quickly put to use and turned into sets of armor. Long Chen ran over to the Elder Hall and asked the Elder Hall Master where there were comparatively many ninth rank magical beasts. He wanted to get a few powerful housepits for Men Qi. Men Qi was a beast tamer, and her talent had originally already been amazing. How could he leave her without a single strong houseput? The Earth Dragon and Riday Sacred Blood Phoenix she had brought from the Eastern Wasteland had already been released by Men Qi. She had returned their freedom. They were no longer useful on any battlefields she would appear on. Summoning them would only cause them to be instantly killed. And that wasn't something she wished to see. The Elder Hall Master gave Long Chen a map and pointed to a spot. There were many ninth rank magical beasts in that place. But it was very dangerous. He asked him if he wanted Li Changfeng to accompany him. That place even had 10th rank magical beasts. Long Chen thanked him. But he didn't want to trouble anyone else. Furthermore, he was planning on going with Men Qi. Having another person come wasn't very convenient. After taking the map, he waited three days until Men Qi finally came out of seclusion. Runes revolved around her, and her heavenly Deo energy rumbled. That was the result of her being unable to control her rank 6 heavenly Deo runes. She needed some more time to get used to her newfound power. However, she was able to temporarily suppress this phenomenon for an incense stick's worth of time. Long Chen and Men Qi quickly slipped out of the Zhuanchen Deo sect several times. They encountered some elders who questioned them, and Long Chen directly said that this was the order of the Elder Hall Master. Although the Zhuanchen Deo sect seemed peaceful and tranquil, they still tightly restricted people going outside. That made him realize that even an enormous existence like the Zhuanchen Deo sect had to be careful in a place like the Central Plains. The two of them rushed westward directly toward the region the Elder Hall Master had indicated. Chapter 1106 Ghost Tooth Deal Translator Born to be boundless mountains stretched far into the horizon and high into the sky. Rivers cut through them, winding through the land. The occasional roar of a magical beast sent birds flying in flocks. A man and a woman were standing at the peak of a tall mountain. They were Long Chen and Men Qi. Long Chen looked at the map in his hands in accordance with the terrain below. Once we're past the river ahead of us, there should be many magical beasts around. The Elder Hall Master said that there was some special ore underground that creates a magnetic field here, and it is very helpful to a magical beast's cultivation. This place is like a natural spirit gathering formation for magical beasts. So despite there being countless battles between them, they still stay here. And more surrounding magical beasts are constantly drawn over, wanting to occupy some territory here, that's similar to us. Didn't we also charge our way into the central plains in hopes of establishing a foothold? Laugh Men Qi, your comparison really is accurate. In truth, when it comes to the weak being prey to the strong, the human cultivator world is much crueler than the magical beast world. Although the battles between magical beasts are bloody and berserk, the danger can be seen on the surface, and there's still a chance to hide. But human cultivators scheme, killing people silently. Many people don't even realize how they died even as it happens. So the struggle of magical beasts is always open, and magical beasts that form packs never betray each other. As for humans, he, betrayal is a common occurrence. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh emotionally. Come on, let's go. Long Chen pulled Men Qi's hand as they slowly flew ahead. As they crossed over the wide river, Men Qi couldn't help but reminisce. Last time in the spirit world, you led me into the stomach of a fish to escape a calamity. I wonder if this time we'll be even more miserable. Thinking of their time in the spirit world, both of their hearts warmed. Sometimes, memories were the most precious wealth. Last time was just an accident. It definitely won't happen again. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Boom. Just as he had spoken, waves exploded out of the river below. A large mouth shot toward the two of them. It was a 3,000 meter fish. It had a thin body like a ribbon fish, and its mouth was filled with sharp teeth. From its aura, it should be a mid 8th rank magical beast. Long Chen pointed a finger and a lightning arrow pierced its head. It instantly died. How about I treat you to some roast fish? Long Chen smiled. 
Menki hastily shook her head. No, this ghost tooth deal eats rotting magical beasts. It only eats rotten flesh. So its own flesh is disgusting too. Ah, is that so? Gross. Long Chen directly tossed it into the primal chaos space, allowing the black soil to devour it. The primal chaos space had expanded after he had advanced to foundation forging. He had filled it with the seeds of iron spruce oaks, but right now, they had only grown to around 30 meters. The old iron spruce oaks hadn't even reached their peak yet, but he had planted so many more. Their growth was exceedingly slow now, but he was helpless to do anything about it. To make them grow faster would require mountains of magical beast corpses, and high-ranking ones at that. Magical beast corpses below the seventh rank were essentially ineffective. How curious. Why would this idiot fish want to eat us? To its huge body, we aren't even two sesame seeds, wondered Long Chen. That's not it. Magical beasts are all territorial. As long as they feel like they are threatened, they will think that the invaders came to take their territory, so they'll naturally attack. It wasn't because of hunger, explained Menki. A loud roar echoed as Long Chen and Menki reached the other side of the river. From the darkness of the forest, a huge flaming wolf pounced on them. Scram. Long Chen kicked the eighth rank wolf away. Its huge body tumbled through the forest. Terrified of Long Chen, it knelt in the distance, baring its teeth toward Long Chen, warning him. Is it because of little snow? Asked Menki quietly. Yes. I just can't be emotionless toward wolf-type magical beasts. Sighed Long Chen. Menki held his hand. She worriedly asked. Can Little Snow really be revived? Both Menki and Long Chen had deep feelings toward Little Snow. To them, Little Snow was no different than family. Menki had personally witnessed Little Snow being struck by the Yama King blood curse. That Yama King blood curse was an extremely vile art. Anyone struck would definitely die. Don't worry, Little Snow will definitely be revived. The soul will be the same, but the body will be different, said Long Chen. Then why don't we find a ninth rank wolf magical beast? We can erase its soul and allow Little Snow to revive, said Men Ki. Long Chen shook his head. No, ninth rank would be too low. Even tenth rank is too low. Little Snow only has one chance to be reborn. If it was just a ninth rank magical beast, the same old play would repeat again. If he can't keep up with me, he still wouldn't be happy after being revived. He has his own pride and would rather die alongside me. So the body I find for Little Snow must be powerful, and it must be able to grow to the peak of the martial path with me. Suffering that pain once was enough. So Long Chen couldn't revive Little Snow right now. He had to find a stronger body. Then should we subdue the flame wolf? Probed Men Ki. What? To make up for the void in my heart? Laughed Long Chen. Little Snow is always by my side. So there's no need for that. Furthermore. This flame wolf is too weak. Menki smiled. The two of them continued. They found that as they went deeper, the magical beasts grew fiercer, and the two of them were attacked multiple times. However, they were all eighth rank magical beasts. They were all killed by Long Chen and tossed into the primal chaos space as nutrients. They're so packed together that there's no buffer room between them at all. Long Chen found that as soon as they left one magical beast's territory, they received an attack from another magical beast. Each of the eighth rank magical beasts only had a territory of a hundred miles. That was a far cry from the hundreds or thousands of miles of territory that they normally had. As the two of them crossed a mountain, a rumbling rang out. A huge black scorpion charged at the two of them. Finally, a ninth rank magical beast. Long Chen was delighted, and he was already charging out. The black scorpion slammed one of its pincers at him. Boom. Long Chen received its attack with his fist. Long Chen felt his arm tremble and he shot back, while the black scorpion was smashed into the ground. Within the same realm, armored magical beasts have the greatest power. This power is enough. Long Chen shook his slightly numb hand and smiled. The huge scorpion once more charged at Long Chen. This time, both its pincers were at the front, and it was like a chariot trying to smash him to death. Then let's see just whose power is greater. Long Chen took a deep breath and the 108,000 original runes in his body quivered slightly. Energy surged out of them like a flood, filling Long Chen with power. He punched out with both fists. The ground exploded, dirt flying out in every direction. In terms of power, Long Chen and the huge scorpion were equally matched. Damn, ninth rank magical beasts are far stronger than the ninth rank devil beasts from the infernal devil abyss. Long Chen couldn't help being stunned as he felt some faint pain in his arms. Suddenly, an attack shot down at him from the sky. Long Chen immediately pushed away with his arms and shot back. 
The scorpion's tail pierced the ground where he had just been. Menki, this magical beast is pretty strong. Do you want it? Shouted Long Chen as he flew back. But, it's so dark and ugly. Menki was a bit hesitant. Long Chen thought about it and agreed. Menki was like a fairy. Riding such a black and ugly scorpion wasn't very suitable. All right then. Heaven trapping flame prison. Flame runes condensed into a prison around the black scorpion. Now, Long Chen had new magical arts, and the cast time for them was very short, practically instantaneous. A dumb magical beast wouldn't be able to dodge them. The black scorpion struggled, but the flame prison didn't show any signs of breaking. Long Chen raised his right hand, his forefinger and middle finger pointed toward the huge scorpion, aiming at its head. Flames condensed between his two fingers, and then a blinding light erupted. Blazing Death Spear, a ray of light pierced through the huge scorpion's head. It reached its head practically the instant it left his fingers. The light directly went through its armor and out the other side of it. A three-meter hole appeared in its head. Despite that, it continued to struggle for a few minutes before completely dying. That was one of the terrifying aspects of armored magical beasts. The fish wasn't edible, but this scorpion is a delicacy. He, I'll cook you some roast scorpion, laughed Long Chen. Chapter 1107 Phantom Storm Leopard Translator Born to be how fragrant, Menki almost drooled as the smell of Long Chen's cooking wafted over her. She had no idea what kind of spices Long Chen had added. The scorpion's flesh was as white as snow, exquisite and silky. It slowly dissolved once it entered her mouth, and its scent overwhelmed her. Her whole body felt refreshed. This is the best meat I've ever tasted, praised Menki. He, compared to refining pills. This is far too simple. If it's good, just eat more. Long Chen smiled. If an alchemist couldn't even cook good food, they should just kill themselves. All right. Men Qi smiled sweetly at Long Chen. She didn't know what seasoning he had used, but its flavor was irresistible. She sighed. If only one Er was here. You two are such good sisters. Even when you eat something good, you think of her. No wonder she treats you so well. Long Chen smiled. Because one -er will also think of me whenever there's anything good. Men Qi smiled back, her eyes turning into crescent moons that were exceptionally moving. Long Chen and Men Qi ate and chatted for a long time in a relaxed manner. They didn't treat this dangerous region as anything serious. Once the two of them were full, they had still only consumed less than one ten thousandth of the scorpion's meat. Long Chen kept the meat from the two pincers for later, and he also kept its tail. There was a poison sack in its tail that was even bigger than a house. Long Chen tested the toxicity of its venom and found that if he just injected a fist-sized amount into a ninth-rank magical beast, it would definitely die. So this poison sack was definitely a treasure. As for the rest of its body, he tossed it into the primal chaos space. Its powerful armor defenses were useless against the black soil, and it quickly dissolved into life energy. The iron spruce oaks in the primal chaos space rapidly grew. In just a few breaths, they went from 30 meters to 1500 meters. The entire primal chaos space became flourishing with life. The difference is actually this great? Could it be that there is also a big difference in the bodies of magical beasts and sea demons? Long Chen was startled. The life force of this ninth rank magical beast's body far surpassed his expectations. After tidying up, Long Chen and Men Qi continued onward. Long Chen asked, What kind of house pets do you want? I need at least one flying magical beast. As for the rest, I like furry ones the most. I like the feeling of their fur, and I feel like they're cuter, said Men Qi, smiling. Oh, how coincidental. We've immediately run into a furry fellow. Long Chen suddenly cried out, because he saw an extremely furry fellow. Scoundrel, I don't want that one. Men Qi let out a startled cry when she saw the huge spider Long Chen was looking at. It was also a ninth rank magical beast, and it was covered in hair. It was truly furry, but it wasn't cute at all. It was so malevolent that it gave one goosebumps. The huge spider jumped, and its webbing shot toward the two of them. Although the spider was huge, its movements were very nimble and quick. Even Long Chen had no chance to dodge. Flame barrier. Long Chen formed hand seals, conjuring a huge shield in front of them. The spider's webbing was instantly incinerated on contact, and it emitted white smoke. Not good. The smoke is poisonous. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed and he immediately pushed Men Qi out of the range of the smoke. Her weak body could not block the poison. Men Qi had only just flown out when she unleashed a spiritual net that landed on the spider's head. It immediately became still, unable to move. Seeing that, Long Chen raised his hand. A flame spear pierced the spider's head. 
killing it. When he tossed the spider into the primal chaos space, Long Chen involuntarily paled and felt a wave of nausea. Are you all right? Long Chen. Men Qi hastily came to support him. That spider really was nauseating. Long Chen took a deep breath before he felt a little better. The poisonous gas contained a smell that made him want to vomit. Let's keep going. Long Chen and Men Qi acted more cautiously this time. After an hour's travel, they encountered a huge leopard. When it saw them, it flashed into motion, arriving in front of them instantly like a phantom. What speed? Long Chen was shocked. They had only just seen this leopard a hundred miles away, but in the blink of an eye, it appeared in front of them, slashing down with its paw. Long Chen, this is the phantom storm leopard. Block it, and I'll bind it with a slave mark, shouted Men Qi. She flew into the air, slowly forming hand seals. A rune gradually formed in front of her. Long Chen knew that it would take Men Qi a certain amount of time to form a slave mark that was effective against a ninth rank magical beast. Boom. The land beneath Long Chen exploded as he blocked the phantom storm leopard's claw with his fist. In terms of power, it wasn't Long Chen's match. Suddenly, it opened its mouth, and huge wind blades pierced toward them. Each one of them was dozens of meters long, like huge sickles. Long Chen hastily shot away, thunder rumbling around him. The wind blades just narrowly missed him. They easily tore through the ground, turning any trees or boulders in their path to dust. What startled Long Chen was that its wind blades were extremely condensed. Huge gorges hundreds of miles long appeared, and they were all the same width all the way to the end. Normally, this kind of wind attack would definitely begin scattering toward the end. Once the wind energy left the body, it couldn't be controlled. But seeing that the phantom storm leopard's attack could create such a long and straight line, Long Chen smacked his lips. He would definitely have suffered if he had been struck. Seeing it once more open its mouth, a light flashed around Long Chen's body, and he appeared right in front of it, sending a kick into its jaw. The phantom storm leopard was kicked high into the air. Long Chen caught its tail. Just this tail was thicker than a house, and he found it difficult to hold. Lightning chains grew out of Long Chen's hands, binding the tail. With a furious roar, he smashed the leopard into the ground. Boom. A huge crater appeared on the ground, but the phantom storm leopard's skin was thick, and it wasn't injured at all. Long Chen had an urge to have Huo Long handle it, but this was to be Men Qi's houseboat. If he incinerated all its skin and fur, Men Qi wouldn't be happy. Seeing that it wanted to unleash another attack, Long Chen snorted. His 108,000 original runes shook as he prepared to give it a vicious blow. But suddenly, the phantom storm leopard let out a furious roar and fell to the ground, crazily struggling against something. Only then did Long Chen see a rune flickering on its head. The phantom storm leopard crazily struggled, and it repeatedly rolled along the ground, clawing at the earth. There was also a rune shining on Men Qi's forehead as she held her hands in a special seal. That rune was the same as the rune on the phantom storm leopard's head. Long Chen knew that she was placing the slave mark, but Men Qi was only at the foundation forging realm. According to reason, she should only be able to subdue eighth rank magical beasts. Despite her being a rank six celestial now, subduing a ninth rank magical beast was not so easy. Suddenly, the phantom storm leopard shot toward Men Qi, but it was kicked away by Long Chen, and then it continued struggling. Only then did Long Chen realize that at the same time as Men Qi was using her spiritual strength to suppress the Phantom Storm Leopard, she also had to maintain the same spiritual frequency with the rune on her own forehead. But the Phantom Storm Leopard was too strong and unwilling to be enslaved. When Men Qi relaxed her spiritual strength by just the slightest, it immediately counterattacked. Ah, how did I forget this? Long Chen suddenly clapped his own head. His blood key suddenly erupted and unleashed its pressure. Long Chen was activating his dragon blood. Once that bloodline pressure appeared, the phantom storm leopard immediately became motionless. Men Qi's slave mark immediately became fully branded. We did it, Long Chen. Men Qi was delighted. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I forgot I have true dragon blood. Once activated, these magical beasts won't dare resist. When we run into the next suitable ninth rank magical beast, you first put down the slave mark, and then I'll unleash my pressure. That way. They won't run, said Long Chen. Men Qi nodded and jumped onto the Phantom Storm Leopard. It twitched a few times, but it allowed Men Qi to sit on it. Long Chen, come up as well. We'll use it to bait out other ninth rank magical beasts. Long Chen also jumped onto its back. Men Qi directed the Phantom Storm Leopard. It was incredibly fast, delighting Men Qi. With its assistance, they quickly obtained another ninth rank magical beast. 
the blood pupil white tiger. Now Menki had two ninth rank magical beasts. Menki told Long Chen that with her current soul energy, she could maintain 81 powerful spiritual spaces. In other words, she could control 81 ninth rank magical beasts. That made Long Chen absolutely delighted. 81 ninth rank magical beasts. If they encountered any enemies, they could directly crush them with numbers. He, then let's get 81 ninth rank magical beasts. And then you'll be the Dragon Blood Legion's number one trump card. Long Chen laughed mischievously. He and Men Qi continued searching for ninth rank magical beasts. Chapter 1108 Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Translator. Born to be Men Qi and Long Chen continued hunting. The number of ninth rank magical beasts in their ranks rapidly increased, and it only became easier. With dozens of ninth rank magical beasts surrounding one, there was nowhere for it to run. While it was still stunned by the sudden magical beasts appearing around it, Menki's slave mark would descend from the sky. When it started struggling, Long Chen's bloodline pressure would erupt, making it so frightened that it would piss itself. In two days, Menki obtained over 59 rank magical beasts. Only three of them were flying magical beasts, and the rest were ground magical beasts. Seven of them had reached the late ninth rank. If it weren't for Long Chen's bloodline pressure, there would have been no way for Menki to subdue such powerful magical beasts. In fact, even with the bloodline pressure, they had still resisted so strongly that one of her new housepits had almost been killed in the fight. But after subduing the first one, the next one became easier. Now, Menki's housepit army could run rampant here. However, after two days, Menki's soul energy was exhausted. Long Chen had her rest a bit as there was no reason to go all out. Taking advantage of this resting period, Long Chen and Menki rode an azure scale barbarian elephant, that was currently her strongest houseboat, and they were slowly advancing. The azure scale barbarian elephant was a late 9th rank magical beast. With its azure scales and long tusks, it could easily crush mountains. To subdue it, Long Chen had been forced to fight it with his green dragon battle armor. Now that they were riding it, they easily trampled their way through the territories of other magical beasts. Those magical beasts would all flee far away upon sensing it. At the same time as Menki collected houseboats, Long Chen also obtained dozens of corpses. Some were rock snakes, scaled alligators, poisonous centipedes, etc. They were some extremely ugly magical beasts. They might be powerful, but Menki decided she didn't want them, so they were tossed into the primal chaos space. The iron spruce oaks had already grown to 9,000 meters. He sensed that their limit would be 12,000 meters, but the amount of life energy they could offer him already made him much more confident. What are you thinking of, Long Chen? Asked Menki upon seeing him looking around. Even his spiritual strength was spread far into the distance. I want to see if I can find a 10th rank magical beast, said Long Chen. Have you gone mad? Even if a 10th rank magical beast didn't resist, with my current power, there's no way for me to place a slave mark on it, cried Menki. This thinking was far too crazy and absolutely impossible. I wasn't thinking of having you put a slave mark on a 10th rank magical beast. But if we run into one of its younglings, we can steal one. He, Long Chen raised his brows at her a few times with an evil smile. That's too dangerous, said Men Qi worriedly. Wealth exists in danger, and I was just thinking of trying it. It's hard to say if we can even encounter a 10th rank magical beast, said Long Chen. What nonsense. Do you think I'm as easy to trick as one or? The fact that we can't sense any magical beasts in this region means we've already entered the large territory of a 10th rank magical beast, said Men Qi. Long Chen had forgotten that Men Qi was a beast tamer. She was clearer on the traits of magical beasts than anyone else. We're just taking a look. Just a look, said Long Chen. Men Qi sighed helplessly. Long Chen's curiosity was too strong, and he never went back on things he had decided. She could only let him have his way. I see it. Men Qi and Long Chen carefully retracted their auras like thieves. Looking down from a large mountain, they saw a huge lake. At the center of this huge lake was a bird nest made from countless withered trees. Looking from a distance, it was like its own island. Heavens, there really are eggs, exclaimed Men Qi. She could see two house-sized eggs in the nest. This luck is heaven-defying. Long Chen couldn't help but mutter to himself that it was only because he was with her. If he had been by himself, let alone finding an egg, he wouldn't even find a single hair or feather. He found that his bad luck was overflowing, but it didn't seem to affect others. If he brought someone else along, his luck wouldn't be so bad. What should we do? They're out completely in the open. 
There's no way for us to sneak our way there. Furthermore, magical beasts wouldn't possibly leave two of their eggs exposed like this. That means the parents are going to return quickly. And if we encounter them, Menki was worried. There had been no ninth rank magical beasts that had dared to intrude in the area around here. That meant the master of this place had to be a 10th rank magical beast. But if they could obtain two eggs of a 10th rank magical beast and then incubate them, even someone as calm as Menki felt her heart pounding. Let's risk it. We'll charge over, grab them, and run. Long Chen wasn't able to think of any plan. The only thing to do was gamble. In any case, Menki was here, so his bad luck shouldn't cause anything. It was all up to Menki's luck. They rushed over to the nest. Long Chen had raised his wariness to the max, and he was ready to summon the Green Dragon battle armor at any moment. Even he didn't dare to challenge a 10th rank magical beast. What surprised the two of them was that they didn't sense anything even upon reaching the nest. Only once they were in front of the eggs did they sense something shocking. They were standing in front of one of the eggs. Strange runes that emitted powerful pressure covered the shells, and just standing near it made it hard for them to breathe. Menki, quick, take them, said Long Chen. Now wasn't the time to appraise them. I, I can't draw them into my spiritual space, said Menki, panicked. She was forming hand seals, but the eggs wouldn't budge. These eggs had their own life, and they couldn't be placed in a spatial ring. They had to be placed in a spiritual space. Long Chen also tried and found he couldn't draw them into his spiritual space. As for using the primal chaos space, he didn't dare to try it. What if they did get in, and then the primal chaos bead directly killed them? That would be an absolute waste. What should we do? Asked Men Qi. Long Chen was also dumbfounded. There was no way for them to carry them while flying. They were huge, and that would be too conspicuous. Who knows? Men Qi blankly looked at Long Chen. Suddenly. Long Chen also looked at her with shock. Who said that? Men Qi and Long Chen's hair stood on end. That voice hadn't come from either of them. Me. Long Chen and Men Qi stiffened and then slowly turned around. They saw a fist-sized little bird standing on a dried up branch. Looking at them. It was small. But it gave off a feeling like a divine steed. Its tail had multicolored feathers that were very beautiful. But there was no pressure coming from it. Nor did they sense its aura. A talking bird? Wow. That was scary. Hey. Do you know how we can take away these eggs? If you tell me, I'll give you something delicious. Long Chen took out some 8th tier medicinal ingredient fruit. Those were things all birds loved to eat. Long Chen, it. Men Qi looked at that beautiful little bird with a hint of terror in her eyes. It's fine. I won't harm it. If it's always been around here, it should know some secrets. Long Chen didn't look back to see that terror. He handed the fruit to the bird as he had personally witnessed the principles that money could even make ghosts work. The little bird didn't even look at the fruit in Long Chen's hands. It stared at Long Chen, not saying a word. Fine, I see you're a fellow with status. This is too little? Then how about a thousand? Two thousand. Long Chen was in the midst of haggling, so he didn't see that Men Qi was pale as paper. She grabbed him and immediately pulled apart some distance between them and the bird. It, it, it's a legendary cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Men Qi's voice involuntarily trembled. What? Long Chen looked back, the fruit in his hands tumbling to the ground. A look of shock and terror also appeared in his eyes. He didn't recognize the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow, but he had heard of them. The expressions chasing cloud and lightning, as well as devouring heaven and earth, both came from it. It was said that the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow was a lost species from the immortal era. It was incredibly powerful, and even amongst 10th rank magical beasts, it could be considered an overlord. It was definitely on the same level as the drakes they had witnessed in the Zhuanshan Dao sect Long Chen's heart turned cold. Could it be that his bad luck had once more resurfaced? They had actually run into such a terrifying existence. Against other 10th rank magical beasts, they would have been able to flee. But running in front of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow was an absolute joke. Cough. Senior. This was just a misunderstanding. Yes. It was all a misunderstanding. Said Long Chen. Oh? You wanted to steal my children, but it was just a misunderstanding? Then I want to hear what the misunderstanding is, said the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. It looked at the two of them, its small mouth opening as it spoke human words. Long Chen couldn't believe his own foolishness. He had thought this little bird was like a parrot and simply knew how to speak. He had actually tried to use fruit to bribe it? Long Chen couldn't believe he was foolish to this extent. In truth, we weren't trying to steal your children. 
We were just worried that they would get cold all exposed to the air. So we were thinking of bringing them to a place sheltered from the wind and storm. Yes, that's what was happening. Long Chen forced out a smile. Men Qi's head was blank. No one knew better than her about how terrifying the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was. Hearing Long Chen spout such nonsense, she panicked. But she also couldn't think of anything. A possessor of true dragon blood is actually so shameless? You've really lost the face of the dragon race. If the dragon race learned of it, they would definitely kill you, said the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow coldly. Long Chen's heart pounded crazily. This cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had seen through his dragon blood in an instant. Just how terrifying was it? What is your name? The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow ignored Long Chen and turned to Men Qi. Chapter 1109 Heaven Defying Luck Translator Born to be Senior My name is Men Qi, answered Men Qi. She was extremely uneasy in the face of this legendary existence. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was said to have disappeared in ancient times. Nowadays, it was almost impossible to see one. If it wanted to kill the two of them, there would be no doubt as to the conclusion. So she was naturally uneasy. However, Long Chen wasn't nervous. He held Men Qi's hand, giving her a bit of comfort. From the start, Long Chen hadn't been able to sense the slightest killing intent from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Perhaps it was worried about the true dragon blood flowing through his veins. A lost species from the immortal era like the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had its own inheritance, and its intelligence was not low. You're not a bad human. I can give one of my children to you, said the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. What? Long Chen and Men Qi were both startled, unable to believe their own ears. Yes, I can give one of my children to you. I hope you'll treat it well, repeated the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Senior, I, Men Qi was still in disbelief. What mother simply gave away her children? I have my own reason for it. Right now, I don't have the ability to raise both of them. 300 years ago, I went through a fierce battle. The children's father died in battle, and I also received heavy injuries. I fled here and gave birth to them. Although my injury gradually recovered during this time, I also have to feed them my essence blood to incubate them. Now I'm stuck. Unless I give up my life, I only have enough essence blood for one child. If I go too far, I'll die, and the surrounding beasts will immediately devour my children. I can't die, but only one of my children can survive. As a mother, I was never able to make the choice. Now I've reached my limit. If I still don't decide, both of them will die. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow looked at the two huge eggs. Its voice was quiet and seeped with sadness. For a mother to abandon one of her children, whether it was a human or a magical beast, it was always a painful choice. Men Qi's tears streamed down. She formed a natural resonance with the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow and understood its grief and pain. Senior, I can stay here and use my spiritual strength to help you incubate them. I have secret arts only a beast tamer knows that can help them hatch faster, said Men Qi. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow looked at Men Qi. You're a good child. Thank you for your kindness. Perhaps this is simply destiny foreordained by this world. Just as I was preparing to abandon a child, you came. Or perhaps this is the guidance of the ancestors. However, having both of them stay by my side isn't necessarily a good thing, and giving one to you isn't necessarily a bad thing either. The heavenly deos are always unclear, making the future unknown. I trust you will treat my child kindly. So come, pick one. Their fates will now drift apart, and as for whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, it will be up the will of the heavens. Choose. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had Men Qi choose herself, but Men Qi was now in a tough spot. How was she supposed to take away a mother's child right in front of her? Long Chen. Men Qi looked toward Long Chen. Long Chen sighed. Foolish girl. What's so difficult about this? Even Senior has said that this is destiny. If we didn't come, one of them would have died anyway. You're helping our Senior, and there's no need for you to be apologetic. With your talent and abilities. Whichever one stays by your side will grow limitlessly. Most importantly, considering your kind nature, you'll definitely treat it as your most trusted companion. This is also why Senior is willing to give its child to you. Of course, these principles were understood by all parties. But when the choice was given to her, she found herself unable to decide. Men Qi looked from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow to Long Chen. Both of them looked at her with encouraging eyes. Men Qi made her determination. I'll let them decide. 
Let's see which one of them wants to go with me. Menki touched her forehead, and two runes slowly flew out. They landed on the two huge eggs. These were Menki's spiritual seals. When they landed on the eggs, one of the runes quickly brightened slightly. Menki smiled. This egg had formed a slight resonance with her spirit. As for the other egg, there was no reaction. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow said, as expected, it really was the will of the heavens. That was the one I was about to abandon. Maybe it feels that I was too cruel. Its voice was full of sorrow, making Menki feel sour. She didn't know what to say. Suddenly, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow shot into the sky, instantly disappearing amongst the clouds. Then multicolored light bloomed, and a huge figure appeared in the sky. A terrifying pressure spread throughout the land. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow had revealed its true body. Its whole body was covered in multicolored wings that shone brightly in the sunlight. The flap of its wings caused space to crumble, as if heaven and earth could not bear its existence. Long Chen and Men Qi both looked at it in shock. This aura was absolutely terrifying. As expected, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's name was well deserved. Its entire body began to shine, and then a drop of blood slowly fell from its forehead. That drop of blood contained boundless flickering runes. Bright light came from it, and there was even a blazing divine flame within it. The drop of blood landed on the egg Menki had chosen. Runes lit up on the egg, and the blood was quickly absorbed. In the end, the blood disappeared and it was like nothing had happened at all. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's aura had clearly dropped slightly now. It returned to the nest and shrank again. This is the final thing I can do as a mother for my child. It looked at the egg. That drop of blood was the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's inheritance essence blood. Once it hatched, it would automatically awaken its innate abilities as its power increased. But bringing out this inheritance essence blood was extremely taxing. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow looked dimmer and fainter than before. In truth, taking away my child isn't necessarily a blessing for you. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race is viewed as traitors of the zoo and beast races. We are hunted down by the zoo and beasts, and so this might bring a calamity to you in the future. Take care of yourselves, said the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. The zoo and beasts? The ancestors of the ancient races. Long Chen was surprised. The zoo and beasts still existed? Correct. There are tens of thousands of zoo and beast races, and the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race is one of them. It's just that. Well, never mind. These secrets aren't suitable for you to learn. In any case, I've entrusted my child to you. I hope you'll treat it well. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow had said that last sentence several times now, but as a mother, this was its request. Don't worry, senior. As long as I, Long Chen, live, no one can bully my companions. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Yes, this is the style a descendant of the true dragons should possess, but you should be careful. As your cultivation base increases, the chances of you being hunted down will increase, and not because of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. You should know that true dragon blood is something that can cause greed in countless people. All right, just now I released my aura. To be safe, I have to switch locations. Take care of my child. You should leave quickly as well, because this place is no longer safe. Good luck. Don't hate me for being long-winded, but please just look after my child. Thank you. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow opened its mouth, and the one huge egg rapidly shrank and entered its mouth. With the flap of its wings, it completely disappeared. There was no way to even tell in which direction it had flown. Quick, put it into your spiritual space. This place isn't secure, said Long Chen. Menki nodded. This time, the egg easily entered her spiritual space, but Menki didn't reveal the slightest happiness. Instead, she felt a heavy burden. Once they put away the egg, the two of them quickly left the nest, but Long Chen still decided to continue searching for more ninth rank magical beasts for Menki in order to fill up her spiritual spaces. On the next day, just as the two of them were searching for a final houseboat, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He had Menki summon the Phantom Storm Leopard. They had the Phantom Storm Leopard devour them into its stomach and then had it slowly approach the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's nest. Through its eyes, Menki could see everything happening outside and relay it to longchennoveloon.com right now. They saw two huge figures shooting through the sky. Their speed was absolutely shocking. Wherever those two figures went, their pressure caused all magical beasts to kneel motionless on the ground. The Phantom Storm Leopard also knelt as it looked at them. Tenth rank magical beasts? 
Or zoo and beasts? Are they the enemies of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow? Long Chen was shocked. One of the huge beasts was a tiger with wings, while the other was a two headed python. They arrived in front of the nest and actually transformed into human form. One retained its wings, while one still had two heads, appearing extremely bizarre. The winged person looked at the nest, smelled the air, and said, It's definitely the aura of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. It's been gone for about a day, and there's also the aura of the human race. Men Qi and Long Chen were both shocked. It actually smelled humans? It then looked around, closed its eyes and sensed, before pointing in a certain direction. It went that way. We're chasing. The two of them flew back into the air and reverted to their huge forms. They were just about to leave, when the winged tiger suddenly looked back at the phantom storm leopard hiding in the dark. Long Chen and Men Qi's hair stood on end. Two human cultivators. The winged tiger sent a claw toward the phantom storm leopard, causing Long Chen's expression to completely change. Chapter 1110 Beat Him Black and Blue with Your Words Translator Born to be the huge claw came smashing toward Long Chen and Men Qi. The two of them both knew they had been noticed, and Long Chen was just about to summon the green dragon battle armor and run. Don't waste time because of two ants. Chasing the traitor is more important. The two-headed python let out a cold shout. Its scales let out a burst of light, and it disappeared. The winged tiger seemed to be very intimidated by the two-headed python and it also followed, instantly disappearing. Long Chen and Men Qi both sighed with relief. Long Chen viciously spat out. How stimulating. Of course it was stimulating. So stimulating that it felt like they might die. Just now, Long Chen's heart had almost risen into his throat. Just thinking about what had just happened gave him bursts of lingering fear. Let's go. We're not spending another moment here. Long Chen pulled away Men Qi. They no longer bothered with trying to get a late ninth rank magical beast. They randomly picked a mid 9th rank one and went straight back to the Zuanshan Dao sect. Their journey back was much quicker. Men Qi had obtained a late 9th rank flying magical beast, and it only took them a day to return. When they returned to the Zuanshan Dao sect, Men Qi and Long Chen exchanged a look. Their tense nerves finally relaxed. This time, they had really been scared witless. That had been too dangerous. They had only just reached the gate when an elder came over to inspect their badges. This was a strict rule that no one was an exception to. Even though they recognized Long Chen, they had to check. But Long Chen hadn't even handed over his badge yet when rumbling filled the air. A huge flying boat flew right up to the gate. The elder's expression immediately changed and he coldly demanded, Who dares to barge into my Zuanshan Dao sect? The elder tightly held a jade talisman. That was an alert talisman. As soon as it was crushed, the entire Zuanshan Dao sect would enter the state of high alert. All the grand formations would be activated. Long Chen and Men Qi were startled. They quietly looked at that huge boat floating in the air. What was going on? If it was an enemy, they wouldn't simply stop and would have charged in. But if they were guests, why would the flying boat directly enter a restricted area? That was clearly a provocation. The flying boat opened and a long staircase descended. A middle-aged man slowly walked out. Dozens of young disciples followed behind him. There were men and women and they were all foundation forging experts. However, their auras clearly showed that they were at the early foundation forging realm. They wore violet robes, and their collars and sleeves all had golden threads embroidered into them. Those golden threads formed special designs that should be runes. The golden threads also formed a large immortal character on their chests. Magic. Each disciple held a staff in their hand. Countless thumb-sized crystals were embedded into every staff's head. Long Chen and Men Qi were both surprised. Those crystals were magical beast cores that had been compressed using some spatial art. These disciples' actual auras were weak, yet they seemed to merge with heaven and earth. However, there was a clear difference from how other celestials could merge with heaven and earth. For other celestials, merging with heaven and earth was a kind of realm and state. But these people seemed to be one with heaven and earth, seeming like they could connect with the natural energy around here at will. The heaven-suppressing magic sect. The Zuanshan Dao sect's elders recognized the origin of these people from their robes. They narrowed their eyes. The Central Plains' three grand heavenly sects were the heaven-splitting battle sect, the Zuanshan Dao sect, as well as the sect these people came from, the heaven-suppressing magic sect. Your precious guests have arrived. So what are you just standing there for? The Zuanshan Dao sect truly declines generation after generation, said the middle-aged man, shaking his head with ridicule. His voice rumbled through the air. Shaking the surrounding mountains, it resounded throughout the entire Zuanshan Dao sect Long Chen. 
Beat him with your words. Beat him black and blue. Long Chen was still shocked by this middle-aged man's cultivation base when the Zuan master's voice rang out in his head. He almost laughed upon hearing this. It just so happened he specialized in infuriating others. He walked to the side of the elder, acting like an unparalleled young master. He looked up and down the middle-aged man a few times and said, Precious guests? Just how precious? How much gold per pound? Courting death. Brat, you don't have the qualifications to speak in front of the magic master. Scram. One of the disciples behind the middle-aged man immediately roared. Idiot. You ran over here, strutting your power to be posers. But I don't have the qualifications to speak? Did you get crap in your head? Furthermore, guests should act like guests. What are you doing being such posers? I'm sorry, but the Zuanchen Deo sect's little temple can't handle such huge posers like you. Go back wherever you came from. Long Chen waved his hand with a disgusted expression, as if he was expelling some irritating flies. Considering the Zuan master had personally spoken to him, how could Long Chen not understand? At first, when he had heard that the Zuanchen Deo sect didn't get along with the heaven suppressing magic sect, he hadn't quite believed it. But now seeing how tyrannical they were acting, and adding in the Zuan Master's message, he could guess the majority of what was happening. He had seen the same kind of play occur many times. He had originally found these people disagreeable, as after all, he was a member of the Zuan Deo sect he still had some feeling for the sect's honor. For someone to so obviously provoke the sect, he was naturally irritated. But with the Zuan Master's support, he was like a tiger with wings. Junior, pay attention to your tone. Is this how your Zuanchen Deo sect treats its guests? The middle-aged man's expression sank, but he still acted calm. He couldn't act angry. That was due to his status and bearing. If he did get angry at Long Chen, he would lose status. After all, the two of them were like heaven and earth in terms of status. His voice still wasn't loud, but it seemed to be backed by a magical art and echoed throughout the entire Zuanchen Deo sect he was intentionally alerting the higher-ups. My Zuanchen Deo sect is polite and respectful to our guests, but our etiquette varies for different people. To a humble gentleman, we will naturally receive them politely. To posers harboring sinister thoughts, the sect's motto is, posers need to be beaten to break them of the habit, said Long Chen. The middle-aged man's face turned dark. Long Chen's mouth was too vicious. Although he was constantly telling himself that this was just a trap and he couldn't get angry, he couldn't help it. As for the disciples behind him, their eyes were all burning with killing intent. Brat, count your blessings that the magic master is a magnanimous person. Otherwise, you'd be a corpse by now, said a disciple through clenched teeth. Who doesn't know how to brag? Brat, count your blessings that the Zuan master is a magnanimous person. Otherwise, once the grand killing formation was activated, you'd all be turned to dust, replied Long Chen disdainfully. With just a few words from Long Chen, the elders in charge of this place were scared witless. Someone had long since gone to report this, but there was still no movement from the higher-ups. You, that disciple was infuriated. You, what you? Don't point at me with your finger. My temper's not good, so be careful of me slapping you in the face, declared Long Chen icily. He detested it when people pointed at him while they spoke to him. Those people clearly had no upbringing. Li Xiangxuan, what do you think you're doing? The middle-aged man finally couldn't bear it any longer. His furious roar shook the nine heavens, and Long Chen felt his ears buzzing. He could no longer hear anything. That made Long Chen's expression change. As expected, Men Qi was now pale, covering her ears with her hands. Blood was slowly flowing down from them. Long Chen was infuriated. He was just about to erupt in a burst of curses when he was held back by Men Qi. Her injury was nothing. While this person was clearly a terrifying existence, she was worried about him. Ma Zing Kong. Your temper is as fiery as ever. Don't you think it's rude to disturb people in seclusion? The Zuan master's voice finally rang out. His voice was neither overbearing nor servile. Instead, he seemed graceful and poised. Open the gates. Invite the precious guests from the heaven suppressing magic sect in, said the Zuan master. This phrase, precious guests, normally didn't mean much. But after how long Chen had used it, the middle-aged man and the disciples behind him felt that its meaning had distorted. The middle-aged man snorted. He knew Li Xiangxuan wouldn't possibly come to the gates to greet him. He led his people inside, and the elders in charge hastily got out of their way. Brat, just wait. Long Chen and Men Qi were also out of the way, allowing the heaven-suppressing magic sect's people to pass. The middle-aged man didn't look at Long Chen, 
but the young disciple who had spoken with him did. He pointed at Long Chen's nose arrogantly. Fuck your mother. You don't learn, do you? Long Chen immediately slapped that person across the face. Apparently, this person had never imagined that Long Chen would dare to strike him here. He was completely off guard. And furthermore, even if he had been expecting it, there was no way he could dodge at such a short distance. The disciple let out a miserable cry as he was sent flying. His whole face caved in, and it was just a bit off from his head exploding. How weak. Long Chen was surprised. He hadn't used that much power in this attack, but he had almost slapped this disciple dead. He suddenly recalled that the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples all specialized in magical arts, making their physical bodies weaker than average. This slap proved just how weak their bodies were. Bastard, you dare to attack us. Die. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples immediately erupted in fury. They all waved their staves, and Long Chen felt dozens of terrifying auras lock onto him. Chapter 1111 Acting Tyrannical Translator Born to be fuck. If you want to fight, then let's fight. Seeing the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples take on fighting postures, Long Chen also began to circulate as spiritual yuan. His 108,000 original runes activated. Long Chen, don't be rude. How can you attack someone here? You are hereby punished to face the wall for two hours. A cold shout from the Zuan master suddenly rang out. Hey, wait a sec Long Chen was startled. Wasn't the Zuan master the one who had asked him to do this? Long Chen vanished. Spatial energy surrounded him, and he suddenly appeared in the Zuan master's room. Well done. The Zuan master patted his shoulder with praise. Clearly, handing this kind of matter to Long Chen was the wisest choice. Zuan master, is the heaven suppressing magic sect our enemy? asked Long Chen. They don't count as enemies, but they don't count as friends either. Originally, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, the Zhuanshan Dao Sect, and the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect were established around the same time, and the founders were once best friends. The three sects were around the same in power at that time, but if you had to say who was weaker or stronger, then the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was the strongest, the Zhuanshan Dao Sect was second, and the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect was last. But later, an unforeseen event occurred. All sects beneath the heavens took heavy losses. The heaven splitting battle sects last three forms of split the heavens were lost, while the Zhuanshan Dao sect was the same. Although the Zhuanshan catalog is still complete, the extremely important original interpretation was destroyed. That interpretation was personally made by the founder. It recorded the essence of all the Daos in the Zhuanshan catalog, but it was ruined in the battle back then. Now, what the ordinary disciples are given to comprehend is just a small portion of the original interpretation, while the rest was patched up and fixed later. But the total amount of information within is less than a hundredth of the original Zhuanshan catalog. The Zuan master sighed for a long time before continuing. However, the heaven suppressing magic sect was very smart. In that battle, although they also took huge losses, they managed to keep their inheritance intact. Long Chen interjected, by smart. You mean they were cowards and didn't bring out their full power? Others put everything on the line, but they were secretly holding back. The Zuan master smiled slightly. As expected, there's no need to beat around the bush with you. You're not off by much. As for that battle, don't ask, as you cannot know about it. But as a result of that battle, the heaven-suppressing magic sect became the strongest of the three sects, and they're becoming more and more arrogant. They don't dare to be cocky in front of the heaven-splitting battle sect because their disciples are all battle madmen due to their cultivation technique. They'll explode with just the slightest instigation, which is pretty similar to you. Perhaps your temper is related to split the heavens. That's why the heaven-suppressing magic sect has set its target on my Zuanshan Dao sect they want to suppress us. Perhaps to give themselves a sense of achievement. The previous generation Zuan master, my master, always accommodated them causing them to make a habit of doing this. That's why this time, I want to give them a slap in the face. But I need your help. Are you interested? All you have to do is give me the word. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. It was rare to run into someone who truly supported him like this. He naturally had to repay him. Good. Then rest here for two hours. I'll go see what Ma Kong is plotting. After saying this, the Zuan master vanished from Long Chen's sight. Long Chen sat on his butt in front of the tea table. He didn't stand on courtesy, directly pouring himself a cup. Seeing some refreshments, he randomly ate a few. Suddenly, the wall in front of him lit up, revealing a scene. The Zuan master was currently looking at the middle-aged man in the palace. The Zuan master smiled and said, 
I'm so sorry. I was in seclusion and had to clean up before going out. Please forgive me. Sit. The Magic Master was another name for the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect's leader. But in truth, the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had two Magic Masters, and this one was just the Vice Sect leader. As for the Zuan Master, he was the true leader of the Zuan Shindeo Sect according to reason. There was a certain difference in status between them, but it seemed Ma Zingkong didn't feel that way. The Zuan Master is as refined and courteous as ever, but it seems your disciples are barely passable. I won't talk about how rude and vile they are said Ma Zingkong as he sat. It's normal for children to be ignorant. After all, they're still so young. If he didn't advance at all after living a few centuries, I'd slap him to death myself. After living to such an age, if he still didn't understand manners, wouldn't all his years have been wasted on a dog life? What do you think, Ma Zingkong? The Zuan Master smiled. Ma Zingkong's expression twitched. The Zuan Master was clearly cursing him for having lived for nothing. What was the point of quibbling with a child? But the Zuan master hadn't said it directly. So Ma Zingkong could only act like he hadn't understood his meaning. He changed the subject by saying, Brother Li, these are the disciples of my heaven suppressing magic sect's new generation. What do you think about them? These precious guests are truly amazing. There's actually four rank six celestials and even an innate rank seven celestial. How amazing to be able to control two elements, earth and metal, at the same time said the Zuan master as his gaze swept over these disciples. His gaze lingered over one of them who was wearing a conical hat blocking his face. He had no choice but to sigh. Ma Zingkong had brought 50 disciples, and they were all at least rank 5 celestials. Although only half of them were innate rank 5 celestials, that was shocking enough. Compared to the Zuan Shindeo sect, the difference was immense. Of the four rank 6 celestials, only one of them was innate. But even if it was just an acquired rank 6 celestial, no one had reached that level in the Zuan Shindeo sect's new generation. For a rank 5 celestial to advance to become a rank 6 celestial didn't just require the Zuan Shin Tower's heavenly Deo blessing. It also required enough comprehension of the heavenly Deos for there to be even a chance. None of the new disciples had reached that requirement yet. If they forced it, the blessing would very likely fail, and a failure would be a heavy blow to any disciple. So the Zuan Shindeo sect didn't try it. The most shocking thing was the rank 7 celestial. His metal and earth energy were condensed to a monstrous point. He was definitely an extremely terrifying genius. Despite knowing that Ma Zingkong was just trying to intentionally dazzle him, he had to admit that Ma Zingkong had succeeded. The Zuan master was truly shocked. Although the Zuan master was sure this group was the 50 strongest members of the heaven suppressing magic sect. When compared to the top 50 people of the Zuan Shindeo sect's new generation, the difference was too great. I wonder, how are the disciples you recruited this time? Just now, I didn't see any remarkable disciples, said Ma Zingkong curiously. This was a sinister question that he thought the Zuan master would have no reply for, but the Zuan master smiled. Actually, you ran into the most remarkable disciple in my Zuan Shindeo sect's new generation on your way here, oh? I don't recall seeing any presentable people. Ma Zingkong frowned. I'm sure you have quite the impression of him. It's that coarse and violent fellow who blocked you on the way in, said the Zuan master. Him? Are you joking? Ma Zingkong grew displeased, thinking the Zuan master was just playing around. His name is Long Chen. You can have your disciples go into the Dao sect and ask around. Everyone knows his great name, said the Zuan master with a self-mocking smile. Perhaps there would be people in the Zuan Shindeo sect who didn't know him, but there was no one who didn't know Long Chen. This was definitely a record in the Zuan Shindeo sect for the most famous disciple. HMPH, if he's the top disciple of your Zuan Shindeo sect, I can exterminate all of them with a wave of my hand. Looks like I came for nothing, snorted a rank 6 celestial. Shut up, how can you be so rude? Is this somewhere you can interject? Chided Ma Zingkong, to the Zuan master, he said. Apologies, I didn't discipline my disciples enough. Please don't take offense. Although what came out of his mouth was chiding, it wasn't the slightest bit sincere. He was clearly trying to embarrass the Zuan master. That's fine. I wouldn't bother quibbling with a child, or it would be a loss of my status, said the Zuan master with a magnanimous smile. Ma Zingkong also smiled, but he was infuriated inside. This was clearly referring to how he had been infuriated by Long Chen and roared furiously. But he also couldn't display his fury, or it would be even more embarrassing. And worst of all, it would be in front of his own disciples. 
Ma Zingkong chatted for a while with the Zuan master before saying, Originally, I brought my disciples to the Zuanshan Dao sect so they could exchange some pointers with the Dao sect's disciples, raising both sides' powers and allowing our disciples to gain experience. But now that I see the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples, Ma Zingkong suddenly paused and shook his head, sighing. His meaning was clear. The Zuanshan Dao sect was too weak. The Zuan master indifferently said, True. This new generation of disciples in my Dao sect is far weaker than your magic sects. Ma Zingkong had put out his bait, but the Zuan master didn't take it, leaving him dumbfounded. The Zuanshan Dao sect was actually this cowardly? If this continued, then they really would have come for nothing. Although there's a definite power difference, having an exchange and comparing notes is necessary. After all, it's beneficial to the disciples from both sides. Ma Zingkong switched tones upon seeing the Zuan master refusal. I don't feel like there's any need for that. After all, when the difference between two sides is too great, such an exchange has no meaning. The Zuan master shook his head. One of the disciples sneered and was just about to open his mouth when Ma Zingkong glared at him. The Zuan master smiled inside. Was it interesting using the same pattern every time? Could they not switch their methods? The Zuan master simply put on a calm, indifferent appearance, letting them continue with their play. Zuan master, you're too modest. In truth, there are quite a few outstanding people amongst the Dao sect's disciples, said Ma Zingkong. Chapter 1112 Large Stake Gambling Translator Born to be shameless, absolutely shameless, too shameless, absolutely too shameless. After spouting such crap, he was able to take it back without changing expressions. Long Chen greatly admired him for that ability. Long Chen was watching the scene through the screen. Ma Zingkong first said that he hadn't seen any remarkable disciples, and then he said he saw quite a few outstanding disciples. Just how shameless would a person have to be, to be able to talk like this without batting an eye? Now he knew why the Zuan master had said that the heaven-suppressing magic sect was becoming more and more overbearing. They were clearly intent on trampling the Zuanshan Dao sect. How was this exchanging pointers? They had clearly come to find delight in crushing others. Just how few rank 5 celestials did the Zuanshan Dao sect have to exchange pointers with them? They were fundamentally not on the same level. But there was one thing that startled him. The power of these disciples. How many of their current accomplishments were related to the heaven-suppressing magic sect? Could it be that it really was just as the Zuan master said, and that the heaven-suppressing magic sect had managed to maintain their entire inheritance? That caused such a huge difference? Celestials were divided into innate and acquired types but the so-called innate types were not necessarily born at that level. For example, an innate rank 6 celestial was not born as a rank 6 celestial. Instead, it meant that they had six kinds of core heavenly Dao runes naturally, but these runes had to be activated one by one. However many they awakened would be what rank they were. As for acquired celestials, they created a new heavenly Dao rune on top of their original runes as a foundation. For example, a rank 4 celestial only had four heavenly Dao runes. But through various methods, there was a possibility for them to condense a new heavenly Dao rune and become a rank 5 celestial. But then they would be an acquired rank 5 celestial. And there was a definite difference between them and an innate rank 5 celestial. In truth, amongst the new disciples of the Zuanshan Dao sect, there was only one person who could become an innate rank 6 celestial. And that was Hua Shiyu. However, she had only awakened 5 runes and didn't currently have the power to awaken her 6th heavenly Dao rune. But the heaven-suppressing magic sect had four rank 6 celestials, and one terrifying rank 7 celestial. The remaining ones were all rank 5, with half being innate rank 5. This wasn't an exchange of pointers, it was purely a vicious beating. Is the difference truly so great between the Zuanshan Dao sect and heaven-suppressing magic sect? Wondered Long Chen. In the palace, the Zuan master was still chatting with Ma Zingkong. Every time the topic of exchanging pointers came up, the Zuan master would skillfully evade it, infuriating Ma Zingkong. But he was also helpless. Zuan master, I rushed for three days to bring my disciples to the Zuanshan Dao sect originally. The goal was to exchange pointers and harmoniously assist both sides. Are you really not going to give me this face? Finally, Ma Zingkong lost patience and got straight to the point. They had come to fight. The Zuan master sipped his tea and said, Why get angry? When the power difference between two sides is so great. Why force a fight? Ma Zingkong coldly said. We came from so far away with great passion for helping both sides. Don't you think you're going too far by not even giving me this little face? 
Furthermore, our sect's relationships are very good, and we also have an exchange every few decades. I don't think it would be good for you if the news of your refusal became public. What an idiot. Long Chen couldn't help but find Ma Zingkong laughable. His ability at scheming was absolute garbage. He didn't have the slightest subtlety or shrewdness. He was just a fool, who, having not achieved his goal, threw away all his face to force it. He came here with such a clear intent to bully the Zhuangshan Dao sect but still put on such righteous airs when they refused to be bullied. Long Chen had never seen someone like this. Most importantly, what was the goal of the heaven-suppressing magic sect in bullying them? Was it just to be a poser? Hmm, that does sound logical. But my disciples are clearly weaker. If we do the same thing as we did before, won't my Dao sect end up losing even more than last time? Said the Zuan Master reluctantly. Zuan Master, betting a bit while exchanging pointers is just for entertainment. Could it be your Dao sect cannot bring out even this little bit of money? Asked Ma Zingkong curiously. The Zuan Master's expression sank, a hint of fury appearing in his eyes. But it was quickly suppressed, and he indifferently said, We have the money, but it isn't appropriate for this. Oh, is it too little that you can't bring it out? Ridiculed Ma Zingkong. Magic Master, this joke of yours is too much. No matter how far my Zhuanshan Dao sect declines, it won't reach that point. It's just that what I have to bet is a bit too big and isn't appropriate. The Zuan Master's voice turned cold. A pleasantly surprised look appeared in Ma Zingkong's eyes, but it was quickly hidden. With great amazement, he asked, What do you have to bet? How big is it? No matter how big it is, my heaven-suppressing magic sect can match it. Oh? Then I'll take out my 8 million mile spirit stone mine in front of you on mountain to bet, said the Zuan Master. Ma Zingkong was stunned. That was a supreme mine. One of the four business pillars of the Zhuanshan Dao sect the Zuan Master was gambling with it? Ma Zingkong quickly concluded that the Zuan Master was trying to frighten him off. He said, it's just a mine. It's nothing to my heaven-suppressing magic sect however. We don't have any spirit stone mines. So I'll bet my immortal shocking lake. It has a heaven spirit spring inside. And there's no need for me to explain its uses. Correct? It is definitely of no lower value than your spirit stone mine. The value's about the same. But don't you feel like this is very disadvantageous to my Dao sect? Asked the Zuan master. What do you mean? The power difference between our disciples is so great. Your superiority is so obvious. So don't you think an even gamble like this is unfair? Ma Zingkong immediately understood the Zuan Master's meaning. The Zuan Master wanted him to increase his chips. Thinking about it, he agreed. When the odds were so greatly in his favor, betting the same amount was unfair to the Zuanshan Dao sect so you want. Ma Zingkong refused to say anything for sure at first, instead leaving himself more wriggle room. It's very simple. This gamble is unfavorable to my Dao sect. So other than your immortal shocking lake, I also want you to bet your medicine spirit valley, smelting immortal cave, nine flower spirit vein. The Zuan master listed off over ten names at once, causing Ma Zingkong's expression to sink. He raged. That's completely unfair. Those places were once the Zuanshan Dao sect's businesses. Later, through multiple friendly exchanges of pointers, they had become the heaven-suppressing magic sect's businesses. Now the Zuan master had listed them off all at once. Making Ma Zingkong feel like the Zuan Master was playing with him. My disciples are weaker, so this challenge is fundamentally unfair, said the Zuan Master obstinately as he drank his tea. I understand, said Ma Zingkong coldly. He understood. The Zuan Master was asking for so much in order to scare him off. He wanted this challenge cancelled. That also proved that the Zuan Master had no hope of winning, which was why he would list off so many gambling chips. If they gambled like this, then the heaven-suppressing magic sect would be putting up several times what the Dao sect was betting. That infuriated Ma Zingkong. He knew the Zuan master simply didn't want to bet, and this was nothing more than an excuse. Since you feel like this is the only way to make it fair, then we will act according to your conditions. My heaven-suppressing magic sect is flourishing, and we don't care about such minor businesses. It's just to increase the excitement. If this will make you happy, my heaven-suppressing magic sect will accompany you said Ma Zingkong. A trace of shock appeared in the Zuan Master's eyes, but it quickly vanished. Magic Master, think carefully. This is not a game. The trace of panic in the normally calm Zuan Master's eyes did not escape Ma Zingkong. That further proved his guess, and he sneered inside. Of course I've thought it through. Zuan Master, you won't be going back against your word, right? Ma Zingkong smiled sinisterly. The Zuan Master snorted coldly. 
and he waved his hand. A rune condensed in the air as he icily glared at Ma Zingkong. Ma Zingkong looked at the Zuan Master, in the end, sneering and also condensing a rune. It merged with the Zuan Master's rune, and they vanished in the air. This was a spiritual contract that was monitored by the heavenly Deos. If anyone went back on it, they would be inflicted with karma. The two of them had made this contract as the leaders of their sects. Neither of them would dare go back on it, because that was something that would determine the rise or decline of their sects. After the contract was made, the Zuan Master's expression remained as calm as ever. There was no joy or worry to see, but for some unknown reason, Ma Zingkong felt a bit uneasy. However, the contract was made. There was no way to back out any longer. Furthermore, he had full confidence in his disciples. He was assured they would win, and once they did, the Zuanshan Dao sect would take a serious blow. All inner sect disciples gather within the plaza. The Zuan master's voice transmitted throughout the inner sect even disciples in seclusion rushed out. Ah, time to get to work. Long Chen stood up, patting the dust off his butt. He walked out of the room, immediately appearing in the plaza. The plaza was full of inner sect disciples in an instant. Hu Shiyu, Hu Gishan, Wang Zhen, Fan Song, and all the others had arrived. They had already heard that the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples had come, and they had mostly guessed their goal. It was a common occurrence for disciples between sects to exchange pointers. They had all advanced to the foundation forging realm and had just come out of the Zuanshan catalog. After having their strength increase by so much, many of them had been longing for a battle to test their new power. Boss, what's going on? Asked Guo Ran. Nothing. It's just some nonsense. How are things on your end? Asked Long Chen. I've finished half of it. Furthermore, my proficiency with the materials you sent me and my forging skill continuously rise. Although there are a lot of failures, my comprehension of the ethereal crafting secret record has increased by quite a bit. When Guo Ran mentioned his forging skills, he became incredibly excited. Long Chen was startled. Guo Ran had been very hardworking during this time to have completed half of the 13,000 sets of armor. Wasn't that a bit too fast? After all, that was material used for king items. Although these sets of armor didn't have a king item's power, their defensive prowess was definitely astonishing. At this time, Menki and Tang Wanner also came over. They were just about to ask Long Chen what had happened when they were all transported in front of a huge martial arena. There were hundreds of thousands of seats around the martial arena. The martial stage shone with dazzling grandeur. They had never seen this martial stage before. Just as people were confused by what was going on, 50 of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples appeared in the opposing spectator seats. They icily stared at the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples. One of them stuck out his arm. He extended his hand, and he dipped his thumb down several times at them with a mocking expression. That gesture infuriated the Dragonblood Legion, and they immediately launched a counterattack. Chapter 1113 Shocking Power Translator Born to be the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples were all infuriated by the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples' insulting actions. That was too unbridled. But only the Dragonblood Legion made a counterattack. Over 26,000 hands raised evenly toward him, and one middle finger was raised high on each fist. Their movements were extremely uniform. The opposing heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples' expressions instantly became unsightly. They hadn't thought the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples were so coarse and would make such a vulgar gesture. Wanur, you foolish girl, put down your hand. You're a woman. King Yu, who was sitting by Tang Wanur's side, hastily pulled down her hand upon seeing her follow along. Tang Wanur had no idea what this gesture was supposed to mean. She had simply followed along upon seeing everyone else do it. Now that King Yu stopped her, she was confused. Suddenly, hundreds of figures flew over to the stage. They were the Zuanshan Dao sect's elders, even the hall masters, palace masters, and all the others had come. They all went to one end of the stage, the judging section. Then, two more figures appeared. They were the Zuan master and Ma Zingkong. Once the two of them appeared, everyone became absolutely silent. The Zuan master eyed the martial stage. It's still the same rules. There will be nine battles, and the first to five victories wins. As the guests, is there anything you wish to revise? Ma Zingkong's gaze swept over the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples. He smiled slightly. There's no need to revise anything, but my disciples have only just advanced to foundation forging, so their attacks might be a bit heavy. If any of your disciples end up injured, I hope it won't influence the friendship between our sects. Long Chen sneered. This old fellow was truly vicious. 
Now he was leaving a way out for himself while also trapping the Zuan master with his words. Now if the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples injured and humiliated the Zuan Shindeo sect's disciples, the Zuan master wouldn't be able to say anything. If he expressed any anger, it would instead make him appear petty. What kind of enmity exists between the two sects? Why are they forcing the Zuan Shindeo sect like this? Long Chen wondered to himself. Perhaps there was some secret between them that he was unaware of. Furthermore, why would the Dao sect just quietly endure everything the heaven-suppressing magic sect threw at it? Wasn't it too vexing for an enormous sect like the Dao sect to have a bully come to their door to harass them? That's fine. They're all proud and arrogant youngsters. Suffering a bit isn't a bad thing. The children can have free reign, said the Zuan master, seeming to not hear the trap in Ma Zingkong's words. Ma Zingkong turned to his disciples. Did you hear that? The Zuan master has said that you have free reign. We came over from so far just to exchange pointers, to learn from each other so that we can both advance. Don't conceal your power or slack off. Bring out your true power. Understood. One of the heaven-suppressing magic sects rank 5 celestials reluctantly said, but if we go all out, we won't be able to pull back at the last second. If they end up injured, crippled, or dead, it wouldn't be good. That rank 5 celestial intentionally looked at Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and the other rank 5 celestials as he said this. The only thing in his eyes was disdain. This was pure provocation, as well as an insult. Courting death, Fan Song roared furiously, killing intent exploding out of him. These people looked so frail and weak that he could smash them all to death with a single fist. Hmm. Ma Zingkong didn't know how to reply. Instead looking at the Zuan master, the martial stage is like a battlefield. Fists and feet have no eyes, so life and death are up to the heavens. There will be no bad feelings for what happens on it. Furthermore, losing disciples merely have to say that they admit defeat cheering for the formation to transport them off the stage. If you don't want to die, you can just admit defeat, said the Zuan master. Then I'm at ease. Whether or not casualties appear, I hope it won't influence the friendship between our sects, laughed Ma Zingkong. Good, then let's start. The empty ceremony ends here. Let the battles begin, declared the Zuan master. He had barely finished speaking when one of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples jumped onto the stage. He shouted, Luo Fangling of the heaven-suppressing magic sect asks for pointers from any experts of the Zuan Shindeo sect. His words conformed with this kind of challenge, but the provocation in his eyes was not at all hidden. I'll take you on. A curt shout rang out. Fan Song had already leaped onto the martial stage. Fan Song had now advanced to the first heaven stage, and he looked like a statue of golden Vajra. His wild and domineering aura was very imposing. Fan Song of the Zuan Shindeo sect has come to ask for your advice. Fan Song bowed slightly, but his spiritual Yuan was already circulating as he entered his battle state. The elder hall master nodded and waved his hand. The four pillars in the corners of the stage lit up, forming a huge barrier. If you feel like you can't win, you can admit defaturing don't vainly throw away your life. The battle starts now. Die. Fan Song shot at the opposing disciple like a cheetah. Runes exploded out of him, all of them shining with blinding light. His blood key also erupted as he sent out a punch. The Zuan Shindeo sect's disciples couldn't help but nod with admiration. He was truly worthy of being a heavenly genius. In one instant, he had summoned his cry of the heavenly deos, his spirit blood, as well as the power of merging with heaven and earth. His battle power instantly reached the pinnacle. Boom. A loud explosive sound erupted when his fist landed. But what shocked everyone was that the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples had merely waved his staff, and a runic shield appeared in front of him, blocking Fan Song's incredibly powerful punch. What? All the Zuan Shindeo sect's disciples were shocked. Fan Song clearly hadn't held back at all, but his attack was blocked just like this. The runic shield wasn't large. It was just three feet in diameter. The runes inside moved like a whirlpool, devouring Fan Song's energy. Just brute strength. If this is all you have, you should quickly admit defeat Chiring instead of embarrassing yourself, sneered the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple. His appearance was still very relaxed and easy as if he had no need to place Fan Song in his eyes. The Zuan Shindeo sect's disciples were all stunned. A random member of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples was able to match Fan Song? Was the power difference truly so immense? What's going on? He didn't even form any hand seals, but he managed to unleash a magical art. How is this possible? Asked Guo Ran. It has to do with his staff, or more accurately, the crystals in his staff. 
His spiritual yuan activates the energy within the crystals to instantly unleash magical arts, deduced Long Chen. His vision was incredibly sharp. Long Chen had been very curious at first as to why these heaven-suppressing magic sects disciples refused to let go of their staves. Now he knew these staves were where all their cultivation base was condensed. Without their staves, they would be crippled. Bastard. Die. Fan Song was shocked, but he roared and the veins on his forehead bulged. It was almost like snakes were wriggling on his arm. The power of his fist erupted like a volcano. The runic shield instantly exploded, and Fan Song's second fist mercilessly smashed down. The Hegemon Hall's disciples burst into cheering, but suddenly they realized that the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple had vanished. Fan Song's fist struck nothing but air, and due to his own power, he ended up stumbling forward. Fan Song raised his head to see that his opponent had flown into the air. There were no wings on his back. He was simply standing in the air, looking down on him. You're too weak. Let this end here. With a touch of disdain, he waved his staff. A sky full of runes appeared. Falling. Withering wind. Condense before me. Heed my command. More and more runes appeared as he waved his staff. And boundless wind energy condensed. Rumbling through the air. What pure wind energy. Tang Wan Er let out a startled cry. As a fellow wind attribute expert, she was most sensitive to this kind of energy. This method of using magical arts is curious. Using the runic energy of the crystals in the staff, he only used his spiritual yuan as a guide, exerting his spiritual strength to merge with heaven and earth's energy and activate the runes in the crystals. It's a marvelous method. Long Chen muttered to himself. He had never seen such a thing before. Wind Explosion Maelstrom the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple continued chanting until his voice seemed to be summoning all the wind essence in the world. All of it condensed into a huge vortex that shot at Fan Song. Fan Song was horrified. He found himself locked down as his opponent Shantae D. With a furious roar, runes covered his fists, and he let out a punch. Boom. Fan Song's huge fist image instantly blew apart on contact, and he was swallowed by the storm. The sound of sharp blades piercing through flesh rang out causing everyone's scalp to turn numb. Suddenly, Fan Song's furious row rang out. It was unknown what technique he had used, but the vortex exploded. A rune had lit up on Fan Song's forehead. He had clearly used his final trump card to activate his original rune. But now, he was covered in blood and countless injuries. Watch out. Suddenly, someone cried out. Regretfully, the martial stage's barrier blocked the noises of the outside world. Fan Song couldn't hear it. Just as Fan Song broke apart the storm vortex, an ice arrow silently pierced his back. The instant it pierced him, Fan Song became covered in a layer of ice. At the same time, a ray of light shot at his head. Chapter 1114 Malicious Mouth Translator Born to be the disciples outside saw this clearly. This was clearly no exchange of pointers, but a vicious murder. Fan Song was encased in ice, unable to move. Once that ray of light pierced his head, his soul would definitely be eradicated. I admit defeat. Fan Song was terrified, and using his last remaining power, he shouted out the only thing that could save his life. The ray of light pierced Fan Song's head, stunning everyone. However, it was just an afterimage. Fan Song had already been transported off. He had just been the slightest bit away from being killed. What trash. I hope not all the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples are this useless, or we'll have come for nothing said the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple as he looked at Fan Song being treated by the disciples from the healing hall. After coldly sweeping his gaze over everyone, he flew off the stage. After a person admitted defeat, the barrier would automatically disperse. Fuck. How arrogant. Gu Yang clenched his fist. However, he has the qualifications to be arrogant, said Yu Zifeng as he looked at his departing figure. With the help of the healing disciples, Fan Song was finally able to sit up. But his body continued to shiver as he attempted to expel the ice key from his body. That ice key had almost taken his life. Ki Yuan Chang of the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect asks for pointers from the Zhuanshan Dao Sect's Grand Disciples. Is anyone willing? Another disciple from the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect jumped onto the stage. He added an intentional inflection when he called them Grand, clearly mocking them. What surprised everyone was that a figure immediately flew out to meet him. Who Gishin of the Zhuanshan Dao sect has come to ask your advice? No one had expected the second person to challenge them to be Hu Gishin. That flabbergasted the Dragonblood Legion's members. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were so terrifying. Before someone figured out a way to counter them, the smartest thing to do was to watch a few more battles before fighting. 
the first few fighters would end up suffering the most. Did this brat take the wrong medicine? Is he helping us? Guo Ran was puzzled. No, he didn't take the wrong medicine, nor is he helping us. He's intentionally harming us. Long Chen shook his head and looked at the distant Luo Fan. Most likely, Hu Gishan had only gone out because of him. Ghost Wolf Transformation While everyone was puzzling over Hu Gishan's motives, the battle commenced. Hu Gishan immediately took action, becoming covered in black fur and turning wolf-like. He pounced on his opponent. His opponent was startled by this, not expecting him to be a rare beast cultivator. In his ghost wolf state, Hu Gishan's speed was appalling. The shield that the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple summoned was shattered instantly, and Hu Gishan's claw almost pierced through his body. He hastily waved his staff and fell back. For the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples, fighting at close range was their weakness. However, Hu Gishan was too fast. He was like a phantom, not giving his opponent any chance to create distance. He forced the magic sect's disciple into a dangerous situation several times. That elicited loud cheering from the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. No matter what, Hu Gishan was part of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and they should face their enemies united. Scram. A rune appeared on the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples for it, and a ripple spread from his staff, sending Hu Gishan flying. He had finally activated his original rune, meaning he was finally in his true combat state. He began to chant and wave his staff, when suddenly, Hu Gishan said, There's no need to fight any longer. Even when you were at an absolute disadvantage, I wasn't able to defeat Chiring Gaiao. I admit Defa Chiring Hu Gishan disappeared from the stage. His opponent's expression was a bit ugly as he paused his waving staff. Just now, he had been forced to miserably flee, causing him to lose face. Now just as he was preparing to counterattack, his opponent admitted Defa Chiring he almost coughed up blood. Useless trash. You don't even have the slightest courage. You should just kill yourselves. The disciple icily jumped off the stage. After being beaten twice, the Zuan master's expression was still indifferent. There wasn't the slightest emotion on his face. That made Ma Zingkong even more sure of his guess. As expected, the Zuan master had just been trying to scare him to protect his wealth as well as his face. Regretfully for him, Ma Zingkong hadn't fallen for it. Seeing the Zuan master's current expression, it seemed he had already accepted his defaturing even when Ma Zingkong added some more insults when his disciples went overboard with their words. The Zuan master didn't react. It was like he didn't even hear him. Boss, they're intentionally trying to anger us, said Gu Yang furiously. If you know it's intentional, why are you getting angry? Demanded Long Chen. Because they're too hateful. I can't control myself. Gu Yang clenched his fists. If you want to go fight, then go. I'm not stopping you said Long Chen. Even this big brat was starting to play with schemes. Gu Yang was delighted, and he was just about to jump onto the stage when he was stopped by another person. Leave this one to me. Surprisingly, it was Hua Shiyu. She had stopped Gu Yang and now looked at Long Chen. If Lady Shiyu wants to go, we naturally will cheer. Long Chen smiled. In truth, he knew Hua Shiyu was competitive and warlike. Fan Song and Hu Gishan's consecutive defeats had provoked her and she wanted to prove her strength, or perhaps it could be said that she wanted to prove that the strength of a woman wasn't any weaker than a man. Even Wang's hen wanted to fight, but Hua Shiyu beat him to it. Then I won't stand on courtesy. I'll treat you to some wine someday as thanks. Hua Shiyu nodded and flew onto the martial stage. When did you win over another woman? muttered Tang Wanur. Seeing Long Chen's expression sink, she laughed. I was just teasing you. Don't be so serious. Don't be like this. If you don't want to be bitten, don't provoke a dog. Men Qi was speechless as she looked at Tang Wanur. But as soon as she finished speaking, she felt like she had misspoken. Men Qi, you've also learned some bad habits. Long Chen rolled his eyes. Was she indirectly cursing him? Just at this moment, a loud explosion came from the martial stage. The two of them had already exchanged blows. Hua Shiya was surrounded by a sea of flower petals, and they violently surged at her opponent. Her opponent had learned the lesson from his predecessor. He maintained a certain distance as he waved his wand. A huge rainbow phoenix flew out and crashed against Hua Shiyu's petal sea. This phoenix not only broke apart her sea of petals, when it reached Hua Shiyu, it also exploded. Although Hua Shiyu had felt something was off and promptly summoned her defenses, she had been too close. She was blown back, blood leaking out of the corner of her mouth. Ah, sorry, I've caused you to bleed. But don't worry. I'll definitely treat things down below warmly. 
The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple smiled lewdly, a lecherous expression on his face. Now, even Long Chen felt some killing intent. This disciple didn't have any courtesy at all to actually say such a thing to a woman. Moreover, the other disciples from the heaven-suppressing magic sect cheered and laughed upon hearing him. That made the Zuan Chandeo sect's disciples even more infuriated. This person should die. Tang Wan'er clenched her teeth. He was too vile. Blood condenses into all things. Flower sea buries the heavens. Hua Shia was also infuriated, and an extremely complicated mark appeared on her forehead. That mark also appeared on all her petals. The petal sea began to rage like furious flames, tearing through the void as they shot at the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple. His expression changed, and he hastily waved his staff. Three large walls soared out of the martial stage, and a blue curtain of water appeared in front of him. The three earthen walls were instantly destroyed, but when her petals struck the water curtain, although they managed to break it, they no longer had any energy. Her opponent flew into the sky with a cold smile. Who is she? I was in trouble. Long Chen's expression changed. Little beauty, take care. I'm about to use a hard move, so don't get injured. Her opponent smiled lecherously. Exploding earth sea of thorns. A yellow earth-colored crystal on his staff lit up, and countless thorns flew out of the earth. This attack was too sinister and too sudden. Furthermore, this person was extremely crafty. While using this magical art, he had covered up the sound of his chanting. He lived up to his lecherous appearance. He had actually learned an extremely strange method to chant without opening his mouth. It was almost like the secular world's ventriloquism. He had tricked everyone. He had been brewing this magical art for a long time now, allowing this thunderous strike to reach the maximum effect. Hua Shiyu had never seen such a move and almost instinctively jumped into the air. She hastily recalled her flower petals. But just at that moment, her expression completely changed. He, sorry, my water shield is very sticky, sniggered the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple. Only now did everyone notice that Hua Shiyu's flower petals seemed to have been stuck with glue. There was something pasted on them that looked extremely disgusting. Their speed had dropped by several times and there was no way for them to return in time. Hua Shiyu could only hastily condense a new petal shield to block the earth thorns, but these earth thorns were incomparably sharp. While Hua Shiyu wasn't able to summon that many petals all at once, she managed to block a few, but some managed to reach her. Blood splashed through the air. Chapter 1115 Fury Off the Charts Translator Born to be Hua Shiyu did her best to dodge, while she also sent flower petals to knock aside the earth thorns. But there were too many, and one of them pierced straight through her arm. Her sleeve was torn off as well, revealing her skin. Blood poured out, and frightened cries rang out from the Zuan Chandeo sect's disciples. More and more earth thorns continued to fly out. Hua Shiyu dodged as she summoned new flower petals. But right now, 99% of her flower petals were stuck with that vile glue, making them too slow. They were unable to return to defend her, and she was injured several times, blood dyeing her robes. But she still refused to admit defaturing she did her best to throw off the damnable glue on her petals, and it would just take a bit longer to get rid of it. Little sister, take care down below. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple suddenly sneered and waved his staff. The thorns in the air now returned, shooting at Hua Shiyu from all directions. Hua Shiyu did her best to dodge, but one still instantly pierced her shoulder. Blood dyed her upper body. Suddenly, one of the earth thorns rapidly spun and pierced her leg tearing apart her clothing at the same time. Her leg was instantly exposed for everyone to see. Hua Shiyu was infuriated, startled, embarrassed, and panicked. She vomited a mouthful of blood, and her aura rapidly fell. She no longer had the power to continue fighting. I admit defaturing Hua Shiyu was transported off the stage, and Tang Wan'er immediately went over to hold her. Men Ki took out a skirt to cover Hua Shiyu's legs, but she had already fainted. So sorry. I caused her to bleed up above and down below. Apologies. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple lazily said a few words before jumping off the stage. The Zuan Chandeo sect's disciples were all enraged. This was completely intolerable. Hua Shiyu was a heavenly genius, but she had been humiliated like this. They felt like they were about to explode. Even the Zuan master's indifferent expression became a bit cold, a faint killing intent appearing in his eyes. But he still didn't say anything. Boss. I'll go and give them a lesson. Gu Yang immediately stepped forward. But one person was even faster than him. Tang Wan'er appeared on the martial stage. Boss, Gu Yang hastily stopped. Let her go. 
It's not like you don't know her temper. Long Chen looked at Tang Wan'er and then to her opponent. A worried expression appeared on his face. Her opponent was a man only three feet tall. And yet, his waist was at least eight feet in circumference. He was like a man that had been ruthlessly smashed. Although his figure was a bit comical, he was a true rank five celestial, and an innate one at that. A faint layer of mist covered his body. But in truth, that wasn't mist, but dust. Following a shout from the Elder Hall Master, the martial stage's barrier reactivated, signaling the start of the battle. He, does the Zhuanshan Dao sect have no man? What are they sending a bunch of women up for? The strange fatty shook his head. He lecherously looked up and down Tang Wan'er. Women aren't too useful on the stage. Only in bed. PFFT. A wind blade silently cut his face, leaving a long line of blood. One of his eyes was destroyed. Suddenly, rumbling filled the air as countless wind blades appeared. Like sickles straight from hell, they slashed at the fatty. How regretful. Long Chen muttered to himself. If Tang Wan'er had just used her wind blade to destroy his staff, this battle would be over. But it seemed she still didn't have enough battle experience. Once the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were separated from their staves, they were just dogs. Earth Spirit Shelter. The fatty let out pained cries, but at the critical moment, he still summoned his defenses. A huge earthen statue appeared in front of him. Boundless earth essence could be felt from it. Tang Wan'er clapped her hands. At the same time, two huge wind blades slammed toward each other, meeting in the center of the statue. The statue instantly blew apart. The one-eyed fatty, who had been preparing a counterattack behind it, was sent flying. Crazed high wind blades. A sea of wind blades poured out at the fatty. Although he summoned a runic armor, he was still cut a million times. One more attack and he'll be dead. Guo Ran and the others felt their blood boiling as they watched. Watching him get beaten so badly was incredibly satisfying. Peak heaven slash. Tang Wan'er formed hand seals, and a huge wind blade condensed in the air. It slashed toward the heaven suppressing magic sects fatty. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. This was a clear sign her combat experience was still lacking. Sometimes, big moves weren't the most effective for killing people. Earth Heavenly Star. Now the fatty had a chance to breathe, and he waved his staff. He was instantly enveloped by a huge ball of earth. This ball quickly absorbed energy from the earth, going from dirt yellow to golden yellow. Boom. Astral winds raged as Tang Wan'er's terrifying attack struck. The huge ball was instantly blown to smithereens. Slot. Fuck off. Suddenly, the fatty appeared in the air, covered in blood. His staff unleashed blinding light, and the ground beneath Tang Wan'er began to shake. Earthen walls appeared, trapping her. She disappeared from their line of sight. The ground continuously shook as more and more layers sprang up, but suddenly they were destroyed as Tang Wan'er pierced her way out. Just at this moment, the sky dimmed. Everyone looked up in horror to see a huge hammer had appeared. This hammer was the same size as the martial stage. The space around it was constantly twisting as it smashed at Tang Wan'er. The fatty only had one eye, and his face was twisted in a sinister expression which made him appear even more frightening. A rune lit up on Tang Wan'er's forehead, and the wind blades around her suddenly came to a pause. It was like time had stopped for a moment. The blood-colored lines grew on every wind blade. Tang Wan'er had activated her spirit blood to connect her soul to each and every one of her wind blades. Divine Blades of Wind Tang Wan'er looked like a goddess of battle as those powerful wind blades rumbled. They gathered into one huge blade that slashed the hammer. Boom. Runes and space exploded, and the barrier shook intensely. Tang Wan'er and the fatty coughed up blood. This was an exchange of power without any technique. Tang Wan'er's blood-colored wind blades shot toward the fatty. Meanwhile, the fatty waved his staff, and earth and energy surged. Earth walls, earth spears, falling rocks, all kinds of attacks came. Sometimes, even other kinds of energy would be used such as water energy or wood energy. The two of them started a heaven-shaking battle. The wind blades shook the sky, while the magical arts came in an unending stream. This was a truly intense battle. Slot, I don't believe you can last longer than me. You want to vent for that previous slot, right? Then come, try and kill me, roared the fatty after fighting for a long while. Even after all this time, he was unable to defa a Turing Tang Wan'er. You damn fatty, I'll definitely kill you. Raged Tang Wan'er. Her wind blades became even fiercer. Men Ki's expression changed. Not good. Wan'er has fallen for his trap. He knows he can't defeat Turing her head on. So he's switching to defense and exhausting the energy of her spirit blood. Wan'er has always focused on offense. Making it more exhausting for her. And now in her fury. It'll be even more exhausting. Long Chen nodded. 
Wanner was still too inexperienced. Her fiery temper made it easy for others to provoke her. That was something they were all helpless about. He, slot, come, I'm waiting for you. The harder you work, the more comfortable I feel, cried the fatty as he fought. His vile words didn't cause Long Chen's expression to change. His expression was frighteningly calm. Those familiar with him knew this meant he was truly furious. Tang Wanner's furious attacks didn't last for long. With the fatty's encouragement, her mental state was in disorder, and she suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Die. The fatty was delighted, and a spear condensed in the air, shooting toward her. Tang Wanner blocked it with her wind blades, but she was sent flying, once more coughing up blood. This time, she received an internal injury, one that was not light. The fatty once more waved his staff, unleashing continuous attacks. Tang Wanner clenched her teeth. I admit defeat. Tang Wanner was instantly transported out. She threw herself into Men Ki's embrace and wailed. Sister. I. I. I'm so useless. Men Ki was distressed, as well as infuriated. This was Tang Wanner's first time suffering like this. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's fatty was too hateful. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's men are useless. And their women are also useless. You weren't even able to satisfy me. Ha ha ha. Mocked the fatty before he jumped off. Long Chen looked coldly at those pleased disciples from the heaven-suppressing magic sect his gaze settled on the man in the conical hat who hadn't said a word. Suddenly, within his spiritual sea, he said, Zuan Master, do you want to bet? Chapter 1116 Domineering Guo Ran Translator Born to be sorry, my disciples are a bit unruly and hard to control. After all, they haven't been part of the sect for long. Once we get back, I'll definitely properly punish them. So don't get angry. Zuan Master, after all, even you've said that when people are young, making mistakes is normal, you wouldn't quibble with them over something like this, right, said Ma Kong as he smiled at the gloomy Zuan Master, it's been four matches, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples are too courteous and won't use their full power against us, one more match, and my heaven suppressing magic sect will win another business, I'm embarrassed to always win like this, you haven't won yet. Take care of saying too much and being unable to take it back, or it'll be like you slapped your own face. The Zuan master had now lost his calm indifference. He was gloomy, like a gambler about to lose all his money. Although it wasn't so extreme that his eyes turned red, he was clearly unable to maintain his calm. A slap in the face? Haha, <laughs> I, Ma Zing Kong, wish there was someone who could slap my face. Unfortunately, no one has ever had the chance, declared Ma Zing Kong. Then since you're so confident, do you dare to increase the bet? Demanded the Zuan master coldly. That wouldn't be good. If we win too many of the Zuanshan Dao sect's businesses, we'll be too embarrassed to show our faces. However, if you feel confident, I can only accompany you. Speak. What do you want to bet? Asked Ma Zing Kong. The two of them were isolated by spatial energy so that others couldn't hear them. After all, the two of them were large figures and they needed to pay attention to their status. I don't dare to use too much of my Zhuanshan Dao sect's capital, but I can bring out a few personal things to play with. How about we bet with this? A fruit suddenly appeared in the Zuan master's hands. Life star bead. You've gone mad. Ma Zing Kong couldn't help being shocked. Just say whether or not you dare to gamble. This life star bead is the comprehension left over from when I condensed my life star. I know you have one as well. So, do you want to bet or not? demanded the Zuan master. Fine, I'll bet. Ma Zing Kong thought that the Zuan master had gone insane. However, that benefited him, so he smiled derisively. As the two of them increased their wager, another disciple from the heaven-suppressing magic sect jumped onto the stage. But this person was surprisingly a woman. She icily looked over the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples. When her gaze landed on the crying Tang Wanur, loathing appeared in her eyes. What a pretentious slot. A loss is a loss. But you even have to use tears to get other people's sympathy? Why don't you just directly use your body instead? Everyone from the Dragonblood Legion was instantly enraged. These disciples from the heaven-suppressing magic sect were all vile. Good sister, don't cry. I'll get your revenge. Men Ki patted Tang Wanner on the shoulder and handed her to Long Chen. Are you sure? Asked Long Chen. Don't worry, no one can bully sister Wanner. Men Ki firmly nodded and flew onto the martial stage. Can Sister Men Ki win? That's a rank 6 celestial, said a worried Tang Wanner as she wiped away her tears. Don't worry, Men Ki's very amazing, and you don't need to cry. Who hasn't suffered a loss before? Furthermore, 
It's not that you're actually weaker than that person, but simply that he's a brute skilled in spouting vile crap. You can't have learned that ability, or you'd have definitely won. But then we'd all have to flee far away from you. Long Chen smiled comfortingly. Dislikable. Tang Wan'er lightly hit Long Chen in her embarrassment. But she did feel better, and she no longer cried. She then looked at the martial stage. The woman was a rank 6 celestial. Although she was an acquired rank 6 celestial, she still gave off immense pressure. Clearly, Ma Zingkong was not reckless. Despite knowing he would definitely win, he still didn't give the Zhuanshan Dao sect any chance. He directly sent out a rank 6 celestial. Now there were two women standing on the martial stage. The woman from the heaven suppressing magic sect could just barely count as a beauty. But in front of Men Qi, she appeared much more lackluster. Men Qi was like a fairy who had walked out of a painting. She was full of a divine charm like someone who didn't eat the food of common mortals. Just by being there, the martial stage gained a special kind of feeling that made people feel happy. The disciples from the heaven suppressing magic sect had never seen such a beauty. They were all struck dumb. Even the person hiding his face beneath a conical hat raised his head slightly, revealing a pair of dark eyes. HMPH. Slot. Do you think you can beat your enemies with just a beautiful face? Menki's opponent was full of envy. Menki didn't reply. She was just waiting. And very quickly, the barrier and formation was activated once more. Die. Slot. The heaven suppressing magic sect's female disciple immediately waved her staff. She was just about to unleash an attack when the sky suddenly darkened. Roaring filled the air. Six huge beasts appeared at the same time, and six pillars of light shot toward her. This was a combination attack from six ninth rank magical beasts, and each one of these attacks was huge. People were only able to see the huge rays of light intersect right where the woman had been standing. Then the rays of light struck the martial stage's barrier causing it to shake intensely. Everyone jumped, thinking the barrier might break, but the light quickly faded. The woman from the heaven suppressing magic sect had also disappeared with it. She was nowhere to be found on the martial stage. Suddenly, a small magic staff fell from the sky and landed on the ground. It wasn't a loud sound, but it was like thunder in people's ears. Everyone was deathly silent. Menki stood on the martial stage with six huge figures behind her, stunning everyone. Ninth. Ninth rank magical beasts. She's a beast tamer. The heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples couldn't help being appalled. How was this possible? She was clearly only at the foundation forging realm. So how could she control ninth rank magical beasts? The only possibility was that she had raised them from eggs. But that would require an immense amount of time, effort, and resources. At most, a foundation forging beast tamer could only possess a single ninth rank magical beast and that would be shocking enough. But Menki had summoned six all at once, shocking everyone, including the Zuan Master and Ma Zingkong. The Zuan Master smiled, but Ma Zingkong's expression was ugly. That female disciple had been a rank 6 celestial. She had been killed instantly, and not even her soul had escaped. Clearly, Menki now hated all these fellows whose mouths were full of dog shit. One of the magical beast's attacks had contained a spiritual aspect, directly destroying her opponent's soul. What a vicious slut. How could she be so cruel? That's not exchanging pointers. That's intentional murder. Cursed a disciple from the heaven suppressing magic sect fuck your mother. When you wanted to kill me, didn't you do the same thing? Now that someone does it to you, you insult them? Is the only thing in your head shit? Cough. Cough. The one cursing them was Fan Song. Although he wasn't harmonious with the dragon blood legion, Menki's victory helped him vent. So he directly cursed back. He had been attacked the same way. Although his power truly hadn't been equal to his opponent's, he wouldn't have been defeated so quickly if he hadn't been surprised that his opponent would use killing moves against him. Therefore, he was full of fury. At this time, another rank 6 celestial from the heaven suppressing magic sect jumped onto the stage. He was a rough-faced man who kept his sideburns, giving himself a fierce look. He seemed more like a beast than a human. Is a beast tamer so amazing? Slot, I'll handle you. He glared at Menki. Guo Ran, you understand. Long Chen turned to Guo Ran. Yes, I understand. Definitely. Guo Ran was delighted and immediately flew onto the martial stage. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's people let out startled cries upon seeing this. Guo Ran's aura was too weak. So weak that it was outrageous. It wasn't even as strong as a rank 4 celestial's aura. Report your name. After sweeping through the land, this heroic and wise martial god no longer kills the nameless. Guo Ran looked arrogantly at his opponent, 
His head was raised and tilted back slightly as he looked at him with his nose. It went without saying that after experiencing countless life and death battles, Guo Ran possessed his own special kind of confidence that was quite intimidating. A cautious expression appeared on that disciple. He coldly said, My name is Lu Fang. Who are you? You want to hear my name? Ha ha ha. Good. Very good. Youngster, you're not bad. So tighten your pants. Guo Ran raised his head and laughed before speaking. Why would I tighten my pants? Because I'm afraid you'll crap yourself when you hear my name. I wouldn't want to dirty the martial stage, said Guo Ran arrogantly. What nonsense. Even if you were a god or devil, you wouldn't be able to scare me. Your bragging has no use. All right, then stand steady. My name is Guo Ran. You dare to play with me. The disciple's eyes turned cold. He finally understood Guo Ran was just playing with him. Idiot. Do I need to play you? The sole reason you haven't heard of my grand name is because those who did essentially all ended up dead. And you will quickly join their ranks. Sneered Guo Ran. The barrier appeared once more. The heaven suppressing magic sect's disciple immediately fell back to create some distance. Idiot. Who do you think I, Guo Ran, am? I can kill you like killing a chicken. You don't believe me? All right. Then go ahead and use your strongest move. I will break it with a random blow. Guo Ran clasped his hands behind his back. His opponent was infuriated at being looked down upon, and he waved his staff. Countless runes began to appear in the air. Spirit of heaven and earth, heed my call. Condensed that person began chanting. But just at that moment, a huge crossbow appeared in front of Guo Ran. One that was aimed right at his opponent. Chapter 1117 Nine Yang Blood Mark Exploding Arrow Translator Born to be the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciple was completely infuriated by Guo Ran's arrogance. He had never seen or heard of anyone being arrogant to this extent. Thus, he directly used his strongest attack. Six runes appeared around him, and he even activated his spirit blood. His staff caused space to rumble around him, and a powerful pressure began to grow. This was clearly an exceedingly terrifying magical art. But just as he was chanting, a huge crossbow appeared in front of Guo Ran who was still standing with his hands clasped behind his back and pointing at him with his chin. The huge crossbow had only just appeared when a blood-colored light shot out of it. The two of them were less than a mile apart, and this red light instantly reached the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple. Bang. He instantly exploded. Furthermore, the red light continued to strike the barrier behind him. A fierce explosion rocked the barrier, and huge ripples appeared. This attack was actually even stronger than the combined attack of Menki 6 9th rank magical beasts. Fuck. If I had known it would be so easy, I wouldn't have wasted one of my nine yang blood mark exploding arrows. Damn it. What a waste. Guo Ran's mouth twitched. This was a treasure he had just finished forging, and it took him 10 days and nights to create just one. There were over 700 runes on top of this arrow that mutually supported each other to give it immense power. Previously, his exploding arrows had been unable to kill mid 9th rank devil beasts in the infernal devil abyss, which had led to him working on a new exploding arrow, one that was even more powerful. This 9 yang blood mark exploding arrow was his current divine weapon for posing. Who would have thought that this idiot would actually believe him and immediately let go of all his defenses in order to unleash his strongest move? Even an ordinary exploding arrow would have killed him in such a state. Despicable. Ma Kong finally couldn't bear it any longer. He stood up and roared, losing all his calm. That had been a rank 6 celestial, one of their future pillars. He had been killed just like that? Even his soul had dissipated from the arrow's explosion. Despicable? How laughable. Your heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples repeatedly spouted such bullshit to infuriate others. Could it be that only you are allowed to use such malicious methods? but others can't counterattack? You really are an idiot. Long Chen retorted. Long Chen, don't be rude. That's not how you speak to a senior. The Zuan master chided him, but there wasn't the slightest rebuke in his tone. Everyone could tell the Zuan master was saying this merely as a formality. Magic master, your precious disciples previously used all kinds of means to win. My Deo sect's disciples seem to have learned some bad habits from them. Are you this angry because my disciples stole your disciples' abilities? The Zuan master smiled. Ma Kong's expression immediately sank to a frightening point. Two rank six celestials had been killed. Now he was finally starting to grow uneasy. Furthermore, thinking of what had happened previously, he smelled the hint of a trap. But there was nothing he could do. Even once he won this gamble, having lost two rank six celestials, he probably would still have lost out. 
A ruthless light appeared in Ma Zingkong's eyes, and he sent a spiritual message to his disciples. Everyone was deathly silent. Even the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were stunned. They even forgot to cheer as this was too shocking. Two rank six celestials had been killed. Furthermore, they had both been killed in one move. The most shocking one would have to be Guo Ran. He was clearly incredibly weak, but he had still managed to instantly kill such a heavenly genius. It completely toppled their understanding of what power was. I told you that those who hear my grand name end up dead. Now do you believe me? Guo Ran shook his head helplessly. He put away his crossbow and jumped off the stage. Not even the slightest delight on his face. Instead, he seemed to possess the lonely helplessness of someone standing at the peak who couldn't find anyone to interest him. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were all infuriated. He had clearly launched a despicable sneak attack to win. But even after his opponent was dead, he put on such an act that was going too far. Although Guo Ran felt it was wasteful, it had achieved the desired effect. If he wanted to blame something, he should blame himself for misjudging his opponent. He could have used a smaller price to kill him, and then his posing would be even more effective. That made Guo Ran depressed. This was something he would have to work hard to make up for. As the saying went, practice makes perfect. He would need to be a poser more often to accumulate more experience. Sorry boss, I've caused you to lose face. This attack was definitely flawed, but I'll work hard to improve it next time. I'll definitely live up to the earnest hopes you've placed on this junior brother, cried Guo Ran when he arrived in front of Long Chen. The only thing Long Chen earnestly hoped for was for him to stop being such a poser and focus on proper things. What was the point of all this nonsense? Oh, well continue advancing the best you can. I look favorably upon you. Although Long Chen felt helpless, he couldn't bring down his brother like this. So he gave him some encouragement. The Dragonblood warriors were all familiar with Guo Ran's posing arts, but the others weren't. Even the Dragon Mark warriors were a bit stunned. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were completely shocked. Killing his opponent in one move was still embarrassing to him? What was going on? At this time, the martial stage was quiet. None of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples took the initiative to jump onto the stage. They were waiting. They had clearly learned their lesson. They were waiting to see how powerful their opponent would be before choosing who would fight. There were still two more rank six celestials amongst them, and one was in eight. The only one stronger than them was that mysterious man in the conical hat. Boss, I'm going. Yu Zifeng saw that their opponents refused to come out, so he jumped onto the martial stage. I've specialized in sending people to reincarnate for 20 years. I've always been imitated, but never surpassed. If you want to reincarnate, come quickly. I will peacefully, quickly, painlessly send you on your way. Don't miss this chance. Yu Zifeng's gaze icily swept over the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples. Even Tang Wan'er, who had been depressed over her defeat, couldn't help but chortle. Even Men Qi smiled. Yu Zifeng was always a man of few words. For him to say such a long spiel was very unexpected. However, his tone was clearly off and rigid. It was like he was just reading off a script. It was clear these weren't his words but something someone told him to say. Looking at the distant Guo Ran's evil smile, it was clear it was his idea. Yu Zifeng truly gave him face to say so many words at once. His voice was rigid and not arrogant enough, but his words were sharp, and they immediately infuriated the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples. That was especially true since they saw Yu Zifeng had no heavenly day of fluctuations. He wasn't even a celestial, yet he dared to look down on them. Their guess was that he walked an unorthodox cultivation path. He was most likely a soul cultivator, or someone like Guo Ran. However, when Ma Zingkong saw him, his pupils shrank. He had actually been so mistaken and missed such a terrifying sword cultivator hidden by Long Chen's side. Just as he was about to send a spiritual message, the Zuan master said, Magic master, what do you think about this disciple from my Zuanchen Dao sect? Ah, this disciple is good. Yes, very good. Ma Zingkong was startled out of his thoughts, and just at that moment, one of his disciples jumped onto the stage, causing his expression to change. The barrier activated, isolating all voices from the martial stage. Of course, that included spiritual messages. Ma Zingkong's expression sank, a bad feeling rising in his heart. This seemingly casual question from the Zuan master had just been to interrupt his warning. Ma Zingkong was able to easily see that Yu Zifeng was a powerful sword cultivator. But that disciple wasn't. It was very likely for him to be at a disadvantage once they exchanged blows. HMPH. 
you're definitely dead. A heretical path cannot have any accomplishments. The disciple in the barrier immediately fell back and waved his staff, summoning 13 barriers between him and Yu Zifeng. These 13 barriers were like huge shells protecting him firmly. He had learned his lesson after seeing the two previous people being killed right at the start due to being off guard. Any of these 13 barriers was able to easily block a full strength attack from a rank 6 celestial. With his current defenses, he was confident that neither Menki's magical beasts nor Guo Ran's exploding arrows would be able to threaten him. You're the one who will die. Are you prepared? I don't mind warning you. I don't cultivate a heretical path. I am a sword cultivator. Yu Zifeng's right hand slowly reached for the sword on his back. His movements looked strange. Sometimes it looked as if he was pausing as he moved in segments, but other times it looked continuous. Then sometimes it looked like each one of his actions was repeated as he reached for his sword. Now Ma Zingkong's expression really changed. Even the Zuan master's eyes narrowed. Just the way Yu Zifeng reached for his sword had gained the feeling of the Dao. That was not a realm that a foundation forging rookie should have managed to touch. The instant Yu Zifeng grasped his sword, the world became sluggish. Everyone was looking at his movements, as if his movements represented some kind of profound truth of the Dao, as if his actions were an inseparable piece of heaven and earth. But when he drew his sword, it was completely different. It was fast. Too fast. All they saw was a bolt of lightning flashing through the air. The entire world seemed to be cut into two pieces as that sword light mercilessly shot toward the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple. The disciple was appalled as a feeling of death filled his heart. He almost instinctively drew out the power of his spirit blood to strengthen the thirteen shields he had summoned. The sword light flashed by, the world losing all its sound. The shields were still there, and the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple was also there. I blocked it. He was delighted. That incomparably terrifying attack had actually been blocked. Yu Zifeng didn't even look at him. He sheathed his sword and walked away. Chapter 1118 One Smash One Kill Translator Born to be what's going on? Is he admitting defeat? The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were flabbergasted. Boom. Suddenly, the runic shields the disciple on the stage had condensed exploded, and a line of blood began to appear on his forehead. It spread, going down his nose, chin, and neck. It was a straight line of blood. The disciple reached out to touch his own face. But as soon as he moved, he began to fall apart. He turned into two pieces that slowly fell to the ground. A transparent figure flew out that was his soul. But then it also exploded. The martial stages barrier sensed that one of them had died and automatically turned off. At exactly this time, Yu Zifeng reached the edge of the stage. He jumped off, as if everything had been timed perfectly by him. He didn't get there too late. Nor did he have to wait for the barrier to dissipate. Another rank 6 celestial had been killed. And this time, there had been no trick to it. Everyone had clearly seen that it was Yu Zifeng's power that had allowed him to break that disciple's defenses. Absolutely overboard. Ma Zingkong's hair was standing on end as he glared at the Zuan Master. I demand an explanation. The Zuan Master smiled faintly. There's nothing to explain. Didn't we already agree that life and death are up to the heavens? What? Have you forgotten already? Fine, fine, life and death are up to the heavens. Let's see just how long you can be so calm, spat out Ma Zingkong. The final rank 6 celestial jumped onto the stage. He was the only innate rank 6 celestial. His blood key erupted as soon as he arrived, and a huge figure appeared behind him. That was a 30-meter giant formed of runes. The giant let out a furious roar that shook the arena. Idiots of the Zuanshan Dao sect, come and face your death. The disciples' roar was full of killing intent. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were all infuriated. He suddenly pointed at Long Chen. You are called Long Chen, correct? Get over here and die. You don't have the qualifications. Wild, it's your turn. Long Chen looked back. Wild, wake up. It's your turn. Gu Yang gave Wild a hard nudge. He was currently asleep in his seat. Only then did Wild groggily stand up and start walking forward. Wrong direction. The stage is over there. Gu Yang hastily corrected his direction. He was speechless. Wild drowsily arrived on the stage. He opened his mouth and yawned. Looking at his opponent, he said, Brother Long wants me to beat you. You should admit defeat, or don't blame me for killing you. Fuck off. The heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciple roared and waved his staff. The giant behind him shot forward and punched at Wild. Wild seemed to still not be awake. His head was still sluggish, and so he was struck directly and slammed into the barrier. This attack's power was immense, and the entire martial stage shuddered. 
But when Wilde crawled up, he wasn't injured at all, shocking everyone. Just how terrifying was his physical body? Die. His opponent once more waved his staff, and more giant figures appeared, all charging at Wilde. These giants were formed from various runes. They were incredibly powerful, and each one of their steps caused the martial stage to quiver. There were a total of 18 giants. Each one of them had a blood-colored rune on its forehead. When they moved, they automatically absorbed energy from the world. That was just like how celestials could merge with heaven and earth, giving them a continuous supply of energy. That way they didn't need to take the disciple's spiritual yuan. You're the one who will die. Suddenly, Wild roared. Perhaps that attack completely woke him up, and he directly summoned the barbarian blood bronze body and swept his huge club out. What shocked everyone was that any of the giants touched by the spiked club would explode upon contact. Those giants were powerless to resist in front of Wilde's power. His opponent was completely shocked, and he quickly waved his staff, chanting some mnemonic. Countless flying swords of light were condensing in the air, even through the barrier. Everyone sensed a terrifying pressure from these flying swords. This was a terrifying attack from an innate rank 6 celestial. Their magical arts received the approval of the heavenly deos easier, and not only were they faster, but their power was also many times greater. Each of these flying swords had the power to kill a rank 5 celestial. Now, there were over 10,000 of them, and they were all shooting toward Wild. Even the Dragonblood warriors started to sweat. Wild Spike Club began to glow, and with a heaven-shaking roar, he smashed it at the ground. B-O-O-O-M. The completely undamaged martial stage finally had a 3-meter hole smashed into it by Wild. Countless fragments shot out, and a powerful key wave struck the flying swords. The flying swords exploded one after another. This swing of Wild's club completely destroyed his opponent's terrifying attack. Bastard. Taste my club Wild roared and was just about to charge at his opponent when he suddenly froze. Staring blankly. Not only him, but everyone else was also staring blankly. The one with the blankest expression was Wild's opponent. Not only was his expression blank, but his life aura had also disappeared. He fell from the sky just like that. He collapsed limply on the ground. At some unknown point, a small, chopstick-sized hole had appeared in his forehead. Wild was dumbfounded. He asked, Hey, are we still fighting? If you aren't fighting anymore, then it means I win. How could this happen? Ma Kong was extremely unwilling. Others might not know what had happened, but he had seen it clearly. This powerful innate rank 6 celestial had truly died wrongly. Noveloon.com Wild's attack had caused fragments of the martial stage to fly out. The martial stage was supported by countless runes, making it incredibly hard. As a result, a little pebble of it had struck his disciple in the end, and the power of the runes within the pebble had instantly killed his soul. This disciple had truly died in a ridiculous way. This was just an accident, raged Ma Zing Kong. It truly was an accident. That's fine. My Zhuanshan Dao sect is reasonable. We haven't announced victory. You can have your disciple stand back up and keep fighting, sneered Long Chen. You. Ma Zing Kong's face turned purple. Although it was an accident, that disciple was dead. He had lost this round. He was startled, infuriated, and devastated. Four rank six celestials had all been killed. How was he supposed to give an explanation when he got back? Even if he won, the spirit stone mine was nothing compared to four rank six celestials. There was no comparison. Only by bringing back the life star bead would he barely be able to make up for his losses. Currently, Everyone in the Zhuanshan Dao sect was shocked, and quite a few people were deeply worried. No matter how this competition ended, the relationship between the Zhuanshan Dao sect and Heaven Suppressing Magic sect would be completely ruined. Four rank six celestials, which were all genius disciples that had only just advanced and were existences with limitless potential. Perhaps the Heaven Suppressing Magic sect would want to kill themselves from the pain from losing them. The higher-ups of the Zhuanshan Dao sect were all shocked by the power of Long Chen's side. Men Qi and Guo Ran's victories were understandable, as they had caught their opponents off guard. But Yu Zifeng's victory had been decided through true power, and Wild was the same. Although Wild had only swung his club a few times, his power had still been terrifying. Furthermore, his aura had still been climbing. He clearly hadn't used his full power. They had only been in the Zhuanshan Dao sect for such a short amount of time but they had grown to such a terrifying extent. Even though they had personally witnessed their growth, they were incomparably shocked. As for the senior generation disciples, Gao Zianiang and the others were also full of shock. Although Gao Zianiang was a rank 6 celestial who had reached the late foundation forging realm, 
he still felt intimidated by Wilde and the other's power. The happiest ones would naturally have to be the Elder Hall. All of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion had placed themselves under the banner of the Elder Hall, and they had won them a great deal of face now. Now the score was 4 to 4. Only one more round remained, and the winner of it would be the overall victor. From an absolute disadvantage, they had caught up to this point. This was completely out of most of their expectations. Only the Zuan Master's expression remained calm and indifferent, as if he didn't care too much about any of this. Wilde foolishly stood on the martial stage, staring at his opponent's unmoving corpse. He didn't know what to do. He wasn't sure whether this person was really dead or faking. That was because in his mind, only people who were smashed to bits were really dead. Long Chen was about to call Wilde back when a new figure jumped onto the stage. He was the mysterious man wearing the conical hat. It seems you're the strongest disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect there's no need to get off. Let's decide victory or death at Turing right now. His voice was quiet and icy without the slightest emotion. You want to fight? Then come. Wilde didn't understand what this man was saying. Seeing a new opponent come, he thought it was a replacement. He swung his club, ready to fight. But before anyone saw his opponent do anything, a golden ray of light shot over and pierced Wilde's head. It was incredibly fast and too sudden. By the time Wilde reacted, it had already reached him. He instinctively tilted his head to the side. Blood splashed. A large cut appeared on Wilde's head, and through it, it was possible to see his skull. Chapter 1119 Terrifying Metal Energy Translator Born to be a half a foot long golden all fell to the ground. Only now did people realize the form of the weapon that had attacked Wilde. The golden all clattered a few times before it became still. Then it simply dissipated as if it had never existed. Everyone was shocked. What kind of technique was this? Without making any movements, he was able to unleash such a terrifying attack. Your head's quite thick. Otherwise, you'd be dead. That mysterious man seemed to be a bit surprised. But his voice was as cold as ever. Bastard. You broke the rules. Wilde was infuriated as he was in immense pain. If it had been anyone else, this attack would have turned them into a corpse. The previous battle had just ended, and the barrier had yet to be activated, meaning it was against the rules to attack now. But this man had launched a silent attack, one that was clearly trying to take his opponent's life. It was completely despicable. A cold light appeared in the depths of the Zuan Master's eyes. The heaven-suppressing magic sect was growing more and more arrogant, and that was due to them being accustomed to it. At this point, the competition was no longer about exchanging pointers at all. From this, it could be seen that Ma Kong had already lost any calm left in him. His continuous losses made him want to get revenge on the Zhuanshan Dao sect by making them suffer losses as well. I'll kill you with a single swing. Wild roared, just about to charge out. But he was held back by a hand. Wild, go back. Leave this battle to me. Long Chen stopped Wild because he knew this mysterious man was an incredibly terrifying opponent. Wild might be powerful, but his head wasn't good enough. Wild always listened to Long Chen. Although he was sullen, he left without saying another word. Someone else went to gather the dead disciple's corpse. Long Chen was facing the mysterious man on the martial stage. It was deathly silent. Right now, Long Chen was the number one figure of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's new disciples. As for the mysterious man, he was also the most terrifying existence on the side of the heaven-suppressing magic sect now that the two of them were facing each other. The tension in the air soared. No wonder you refuse to face people openly and only do such shameful things. If I were you, I'd have no face to see anyone, said Long Chen as he looked at his opponent coldly. At this time, the mysterious man finally took off his hat. When his face was revealed, it shocked everyone. There was a third eye on his forehead. His head was bald, but strange lines were covering it like wriggling centipedes. Just looking at it was horrifying. His third eye was closed, while one of his other eyes was covered by a patch. Only one eye was revealed. This one exposed eye had no pupil. Instead, it contained a strange golden rune. Seeing his appearance, all the disciples from the Zhuanshan Dao sect jumped in horror. He looked like a monster. Your power's not bad, but you're weaker than that big fellow. If it was him, perhaps he'd have a 10% chance of beating me. As for you, you have no chance. This strange man's eye roved around Long Chen as if it could see through everything about him. I don't know where your confidence comes from. Originally, we had no enmity, and I wasn't planning on killing you, but you had to be so idiotic as to try to kill my brother, using the most despicable and shameless way as well. Today, you won't be leaving. Long Chen looked back at him, 
Long Chen was infuriated. If everyone had been fighting openly, with victory and death ensuring left up to the heavens, then there was nothing to be done. But the heaven-suppressing magic sect's disciples were too vile, like hyenas on the grasslands. They always had to do malicious things that continuously pushed his patience. Because four of their experts had been killed after they had insulted Hua Shiyu and Tang Wanur, his anger had gradually been suppressed. But now, this strange man had ignited it again. Although Wilde's head was big, his brain was like a child's. Long Chen always treated him as a little brother who didn't quite understand things. But this strange man had almost killed him. If it weren't for Wilde's monstrous physical body, which made his skeleton comparable to king items, he'd be dead already. Now Long Chen's killing intent could no longer be suppressed. He had made his determination to kill this person. He would not permit anyone to take the lives of his people for no reason at all. That was an enmity that would not rest until death. Ha ha ha. Good. You're arrogant enough. I hope I'm wrong as well. Or killing you will be boring. If you can't satisfy me, don't blame me for not being courteous. Said the strange-faced man. Killing intent exploded from his eye. Remember my name. Hans Henayu from the Grand Han Ancient Nation. The one who possesses this name will take your life. Hearing he came from the Grand Han Ancient Nation, the Zuan master narrowed his eyes. He instantly realized something and he smiled. That smile was touched with derision. Elder Hall Master, activate the barrier. Long Chen didn't bother arguing. The Elder Hall Master looked toward the Zuan master. Seeing him nod, he activated the formation, covering the martial stage with the huge barrier. All the hearts of the Zuanshan Dao sect's disciples clenched. Some were so nervous that they found it hard to breathe. Prepare yourself. Don't get instantly killed. Or it'd be boring Hans Henayu had only gotten half his words out when a figure flashed before him. Long Chen appeared in front of him without saying a word. A kick going for Hans Henayu's crotch. Long Chen hadn't unleashed his aura. And he wasn't using his spiritual yuan nor a magical art. This was a simple kick with no technique. That wasn't something that should occur in a battle between experts. He looked like an ordinary person who had charged up and sent out a kick. Hans Henayu had just been prepared to unleash his aura, thinking that Long Chen would do the same. As a result, this sudden charge caught him off guard. When Long Chen arrived in front of him, he suddenly felt something was off. Long Chen's physical body looked ordinary, but it was like a hibernating dragon was hiding within. This kick definitely wouldn't be easy to take. He had to stop what he was doing and press down with his foot. His butt stuck out behind him, allowing him to dodge Long Chen's kick by less than a hair's breadth. He was just about to fly into the air when a palm came from an undodgeable angle and viciously struck him across the face. This slap was extremely resounding. Hans Henaya was sent flying and smashed into the barrier like a shooting star. The barrier quivered. Shocking people. The collision from this attack was practically comparable to the result of Guo Ran's Nine Yang Blood Mark exploding arrow. Just how vicious had this slap been? In reality, this was Long Chen's first time using his divine face slapping art with the intent to kill. Of course, that meant it would be easier to sense and wouldn't necessarily hit. And so he had first used a kick in preparation for this slap. He had been secretly accumulating energy. So of course this slap was vicious. However, Long Chen couldn't help being startled. He felt a burst of pain from his palm. His skin had split open and his hand was bleeding. Hans Henayu stood up, and everyone was shocked to see that half his face had turned golden yellow with runes circulating over it. He looked like he was made of gold. That was shocking. Hans Henayu's metal energy was truly terrifying to be able to freely transform his body into metal. But even his golden face had a clear handprint in it. The handprint was almost an inch deep. That was shocking as well as funny. Looking from the bloody-handed Long Chen to the metallic-faced Hans Henayu, they were silent. Good. Fuck. I don't mind others being posers, but they can't be bigger posers than me, cheered Guo Ran. That slap had been too satisfying. Regretfully, Hans Henayu was incredibly powerful. If it had been an innate rank 6 celestial, this slap might really have killed them. Long Chen really doesn't walk a normal path. This brat, even I misjudged what he was going to do. The Zuan master looked at Long Chen a bit solemnly, but inside, he was bitterly smiling. Even with his experience, he hadn't been able to guess Long Chen's moves. No wonder you're so shameless. I've never seen someone with skin as thick as this. Long Chen swung his hand a few times with an admiring expression. Although his attack had struck, he didn't feel the slightest delight. Instead, he was shocked. This fellow would probably be a very difficult opponent. Congratulations, you've managed to infuriate me. 
Han Senayu stared coldly at Long Chen. The handprint on his face slowly disappeared. At the same time, the golden color of his face faded, and he once more had a normal face of flesh and blood. I'll make you live a life worse than death. Han Senayu waved his staff, runes revolving around him, as the golden rune in his eye began to shine. Golden chains descended from the sky toward Long Chen. First, I'll give you an appetizer boom. Long Chen's fist smashed onto one of the chains. It exploded, transforming into golden runes. But several other chains continued to descend. Long Chen repeatedly punched, destroying the golden chains one by one. Golden runes filled the air. HMPH, idiot. You actually fell for it so easily. Gold locks heaven and earth. The runes floating in the air instantly condensed forming a huge net that trapped Long Chen. Chapter 1120 Berserk Fierce Battle Translator Born to be break, Long Chen roared, his 108,000 original runes giving him power. The huge net binding him instantly blew to bits. Long Chen stamped on the martial stage and shot forward at Hans Henayu, delivering a punch. As for Hans Henayu, he also sent a punch out, but his arm instantly turned golden with countless runes revolving around it. Boom. A heaven-shaking explosion erupted when their fists collided. Hans Henayu's expression changed. His golden arm actually deformed and he flew back. In terms of power, he was at a disadvantage. Even after summoning this golden arm, he wasn't Long Chen's match. Good. This makes it interesting. Hans Henayu's body began to shine and become golden. To be able to force me to use my golden battle armor is a privilege for you. Even when you die, you can die happy. Hans Henayu shot forward. He opened his hand, and the runes revolving around him condensed in his hand. When he formed a fist once more, his fist was like a blazing sun. Your posing makes me think of another idiot surnamed Han in the eastern wasteland. Your posing methods are quite similar. But right now, the grass on his burial mound is high and wild. Long Chen snorted. His original runes made him feel like his power was overflowing as he met this punch with his own fist. Boom. Their fists once more collided. Unleashing terrifying key waves that struck the martial stage's barrier. It was constantly shaking, with countless runes activating to block their power. Hans Henayu's expression changed again. He hadn't expected that after summoning his golden battle armor, he would still be unable to suppress Long Chen in terms of power. At this moment, Long Chen appeared right above him, a kick heading to his head. Hans Henayu was infuriated. This was clearly a kind of contempt. He reached his hand toward Long Chen's foot. If he caught it, Long Chen would definitely be forced into a passive position. But unexpectedly, Long Chen's kick was just a feint, nothing more than bait. Just as his hand was about to grab Long Chen's foot, Long Chen's other foot struck like a scorpion's tail. When it came to close range combat, Hans Henayu's experience was a far cry from Long Chen's. As a result, Long Chen's second foot struck him right in the nose. His face directly caved in, causing everyone else's noses to feel a sympathetic reaction. With a muffled snort, Hans Henayu flew backward. Long Chen was just about to chase when his heart shook. Lightning runes circulated around him, and he forcibly changed his direction. Golden Ray shot by. Even though Long Chen had dodged at the first moment, he was still struck in the arm. What had struck him was a golden sword. Hundreds of them had flown over, and each one of them was incredibly sharp. Even Long Chen's body was pierced, the large cut on his arm slowly bleeding. Have you stopped being a poser? This injury was nothing. Long Chen icily looked at Hans Henayu. At this time, Hans Henayu's body was not golden anymore. Moreover, he was no longer barehanded. He was holding a magical staff. Only now did the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples recall that the heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples all specialized in magical arts. In other words, those terrifying attacks before were nothing more than probing blows. He hadn't brought out any of his true power. They also realized why Long Chen kept saying he was being a poser. To fight against his opponent using the area he was weakest in was truly being a poser. But it was also clear he hadn't succeeded in being a poser. Long Chen hadn't given him that chance. According to a normal posing pattern, he should have used this method to force Long Chen into a miserable state and then tell him that the warm-up was over. Now instead of being a poser, he ended up posing as an idiot. Long Chen's slap in the face and kick contributed a great deal to that. However, no one from the Zhuanshan Dao sect laughed at Hans Henayu. They were full of shock. These terrifying attacks were capable of exterminating them several times over, but they were just the prologue. Now the real battle would start. You should be careful. I'm going to get serious. Don't die too fast, or it'll be boring. 
Hans Henaya waved his staff. The golden light in his eye grew stronger, and as he shanted D, a golden light suddenly shot out of it. Long Chen quickly retreated. Golden Alls appeared stuck in the ground right where he had been. More and more of them shot at him, forcing him to retreat over and over again. Their sharpness was able to pierce even Wilde's body, so he didn't dare to take them head on. Just as he was thinking about how to handle this, he suddenly felt something was wrong. Looking up, he saw a huge golden platform smash down on him. Golden Mountain Grand Seal. Hans Henayu had been chanting this entire time, and with the final shout, the golden platform smashed down. Hans Henayu's golden alls were just a distraction. By the time Long Chen realized this trap, it was too late. Just as many people thought Long Chen might have been crushed into a meat patty beneath the platform, it exploded. When the golden runes dissipated, they saw Long Chen in his punching posture, four stars shining in his eyes. His hair and robes fluttered naturally in the wind. He suddenly roared, sounding like a furious god. Long Chen had no choice but to roar. This was his first time going all out with the four-star battle armor after forming his 108,000 original runes. As soon as he summoned the four-star battle armor, his 108,000 original runes became excited, and it was like a dragon was awakening within him. It felt like if he didn't roar, he would suffocate. After a thunderous roar, Long Chen's gaze turned cold, and he shot forward. A hole appeared on the incomparably sturdy bricks beneath his feet where he stamped. What speed? By the time anyone could react, Long Chen had arrived in front of Hans Henayu. Hans Henayu was startled. Long Chen seemed like a revived dragon, and Hans Henayu no longer dared to stay close to him. He repeatedly waved his staff, chanting. Golden walls appeared one after another, each dozens of meters thick. And yet, these powerful barriers were as weak as paper and were blown apart with a single punch. Long Chen continued to advance, the golden walls unable to stop him from chasing. Hans Henayu was currently fleeing. Impossible. Senior apprentice brother Hans Henayu is unrevealed. How can Long Chen force him to this extent? The heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples were all filled with disbelief. In the heaven suppressing magic sect, Hans Henayu was like a god. No one dared to receive a single blow from him. So naturally, no one had seen him truly fight. In their hearts, he was unrevealed. And no matter how powerful the opponents, they would be annihilated with a wave of his hand. They had never seen anyone able to force Hans Henayu to this extent. Hans Henayu rapidly formed new golden walls, but Long Chen broke them down even faster. When Long Chen was about to reach him, he suddenly tore off his eye patch. Boom. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, the martial stage exploded, and a huge fist flew out of the ground at Long Chen. So you're a dual metal earth cultivator. So what? Watch me destroy it. Long Chen snorted and directly sent out a punch. The huge fist exploded, and the entire martial stage shook as if it was unable to bear this power. All the disciples' expressions changed. Rock gold suppress heaven and earth. Hans Henai roared furiously, and the two runes in his eyes began to revolve. The ground transformed into a sturdy rock, while a huge golden seal appeared in the air. This golden seal was ten times larger than before. The ground began to rapidly soar, while the golden seal fell like a meteor. Boom. The two collided. For a moment. Everyone was silent. Senior apprentice brother. Long Chen. Is he still alive? Stuttered a Zhuanshan Dao sect disciple. This scene was horrific. Seeing his attack succeed. Hans Henayu smiled. But his smile quickly became rigid. A light cracking sound reverberated throughout the silence. Everyone heard it. Then the golden seal began to break apart. Causing everyone's jaw to drop. The golden seal and rock both exploded. And a figure appeared in the air. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples erupted in cheering. Long Chen coldly looked at Hans Henayu. That last attack had truly been powerful, but he had managed to withstand it. He found that his 108,000 original runes possessed some secrets that even he didn't know. When he used his four-star battle armor, it formed a resonance with the 108,000 original runes. There was a slight change, and yet, he was unable to describe it clearly. However, Something had happened with the four-star battle armor now that made its power and defense extremely monstrous. Are you still not going to bring out your full power? Are you just going to keep your third eye closed this whole time? Asked Long Chen coldly. 